Uh, towards middle off the wall, well, perhaps. That's an anti if they throw them. Ooh, okay. No, no nades. They just go for the drive fights and they, I mean, two for two. Yeah. But yeah. there's so many nades. Like, it was obviously designed for something else. NIP clearly had an anti in mind and right now Heroic have just charged them. So this is a strange start. Strange one for Tessus as well. He's got Dexter as well, uh, in support from that brokey position. Long range Glock from Rez actually keeps the round interesting. Rez still has the HE and a bomb. Throws out the HE. No damage. Oh. Headshot from Kixon. Very nice. Yeah. No help for Rez here. No Kev. And just half health. You'd love a plant. You'd love a plant. Doesn't look like it's going to be given. There's, yeah. Kixon groups up with Tessus. He doesn't know they're both here. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Had to have good spacing there. Could have got awkward otherwise. All right. Well, good on the drive by. Just one player surviving, but that will be the round for Heroic. Should see a uh, likely an NIP. Eco, and then the buy into the next. It's interesting they, they picked Ancient into this series, NIP, considering they lost it in the first series, but I'm assuming the win over FaZe just the other day on this map was like the confidence booster, right? They was like, oh, we, we lost that match, we fixed our issues, we beat FaZe, let's go right back to it, we're feeling good on the map. I, I think as well for, oh, Dexter's gone just the uh, head armor USP, so he's saving money for the AWP into the next. And this is where those decisions could come back to buy you, especially let's say if NIP did go for the force. But this is where your prep work, you know, what are the tendencies of the teams? Do they force after plants or lack of plants? And this one should uh, be a nice slow round. No lack of plants here on Ancient, that's for that's sure. That's true, plenty, plenty of, plenty of, of flora. Yeah, there's a ton. Are you a green thumb, Jason? Are you a gardener? Uh, uh, I'm trying to be. Uh, I'm working on it. It's what are you a, planting? It's a long path. Uh, I did broccoli this year. I did oh. Brussels sprouts. Tell me it's long stem broccoli. Uh, I think that's the official term is broccolini. Tell me it's broccolini. It's not broccolini. It's oh, just regular broccoli. Basic yeah. broccoli? Yeah. Mm. Green magic, I believe that strain was called. Is it the, don't, they, don't they call... Um, the, the Zuma kids these days, broccoli heads? Yeah, they have been. I think they're all heads. They're always heads, aren't they? The broccoli head is the big bunch of broccoli. Oh, no, no, the kids' haircuts, Jason. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm lear I'll learn about that in a few years. Jason, I need to tell you, I, I, I could take 10 years off you. You just needed to make one simple change to your wardrobe. What's what? that? Socks? Yeah, you've got the boomer socks on. Sorry, the millennial socks. I don't. I don't like the the tall socks. I know you don't much. like them. I, like I don't the like them either, socks. Jason. Do you think I'm wearing these because I like them? <laughs> <laughs> I think I put these on. I would kind of hope you know you the would. last time we cool. wore these, Jason, would have been when we were in high school. Are you a slave to the trend? My yes, problem is when I see Alex rolling in with the long socks, like bunched up. One's like halfway up his leg. One's like a quarter way. I'm like, that looks cool, but I can't pull that yeah, off. Yeah, you can. Believe in yourself, Jason. Right, I'll try it tomorrow. Try it, bro. Join, I, the, join you, the club. You think you can't, but you can. Tess. This game's personal for him. Yeah, I mean, I, I I think if you're coming into this one, I would have a bit of extra mojo about me. Yeah, you'd have a little vibe to you. I want to prove myself. I want to kind of win it for the boys. It's an elimination match as well. A rematch against a team that, you know, you had some kind of unfortunate circumstances surrounding a default loss. You know who else had an unfortunate loss? Tell me. It's my quest. Oh, oh, mate, I, I, I actually called it off air when I saw that they won the pistol and they were 9-4 up. You just, like, you just felt I it? You have a good sense of those things. You did the uh, the liquid loss in the comeback to phase as well. Yeah. Look at this little hit going on. Some Ooh. good kills from Nerts. That MP7, a classy gentleman with a classy weapon, keeps it close. And no cigar. Some chip damage onto Isaac on the plant, but yeah, not looking like they're going to commit to this one. Shush is backing away. His teammate Dexter is considering it, but there's no real interest with the AWP. You'd rather save that one. So yeah, that's gone well. FlyQuest put, uh, not FlyQuest, they definitely didn't put out this tweet. Sure. Hatel TV put out a tweet uh, after FlyQuest were eliminated. And it has FlyQuest event finishes so far this season. Go on. 12th to 15th at the Esports World Cup. Ooh. And the only reason that they couldn't, it wasn't 12th to 16th is because it was a weird format. Yep. Uh, but regardless, last place. Uh, 21st to 24th at IEM Cologne. So, Oof. last, last place. place. Uh, and then 21st to 28th at ESL Pro League Season 20. Last place. Second to last place. Second to last place. 32 right, teams. Uh, you, know what, you know what you have to do, don't you? Put the jersey on. Put the jersey on. Not, give, soft not with how I've been playing recently. Give Havoc a call. I don't mind. Your utility Get the was, out. was solid. Yeah, but it's not nothing to do with the U2. It's definitely not to do with the U2. It's <laughs> the, I just can't, at the moment, I can't shoot. I can't shoot. I know that feeling. I just, I, for whatever reason, I just, and I'm such a liability, and then it's in your head, and then you get, you're playing worse yeah, and worse yeah. and worse. And then you start messing with your settings and, at all. And Are you one of those guys? Some, you get, you nah, just, nah, 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 but maybe I should. I was no. just doing an SSD setup with Donk. 
Oh. Oh. That was you learned some things? Yeah. And I'm going to play like Donk. Okay. Okay. So the Donk slide, did you get any insight? No, I didn't ask about the Donk slide. Ah, I should have asked about the Donk slide. Where does it, where, what's his crouch key? You know? We're regular. It's just what, it's, what's regular. Most is what, default. Oh, sorry. You play like no a weirdo, don't you? Yeah. yeah. yeah okay. <laughs> what do you crouch with? Uh, what do people crouch with? Control, 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 yeah. What do you crouch with? Um... <laughs> The, the button that's or... not on this keyboard above return. You know when you've got a small return key? There's a little yeah. like... Uh, okay, yeah, yeah, I got yeah, you yeah. this one. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's yeah. Uh, but everything for him is pretty standard. He does have on F2 and caps lock changing between... No, caps lock is his radar toggle. Yeah, uh, oh, that's nice. F2 and one other key he had bound to changing to left hand between left does and right. Does he do right. that? I've never yeah, seen Yeah, and him I, said, I said, why do you have this? And he said... Just for fun. Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, his crosshair, he says he just changes it until he likes something, but he, he gave me his crosshair that he uses at the moment. Okay. Uh, what else do we learn from Donk? He has jump on three binds. Space bar, mouse will up and down. Okay. That's a that's excessive. If that you is a little too much, yeah. I'd say. Well, I asked him why, and he said for certain little jumps, uh, he likes to do it with control and space bar because it's a bit more instant. Yeah. Okay. So he had some rationale behind it. Uh, we do have a technical issue with Dexter, guys. What Talk resolution about, does he use? Uh, he uses 4x3. I think it's 1280. By 960? Everyone's yeah. on that. Man. Yeah, it seems yeah. to be the go-to. Uh, he ran me through his graphic settings as well. We went through his monitor settings. We did all those things. So um, I stupidly, I was like, he's going home tonight because they were qualified last night. And I was like, oh, what are you guys doing next? And he's like, well, coming back here. And I was like, oh, yeah, I'm an idiot. Like, <laughs> it's not the yeah. not over yet. Yeah. You know, he's, they are yeah. coming back. I'm like, ah, oh, you got me there, donk. His crosshair, you mentioned his crosshair. The one he used when he was destroying everyone in Katowice, obviously everyone was immediately rushing to try and to, to steal all of his settings. Oh, yeah. I tried it. Small was this and microscopic green? Yeah. Still white. Small. It was a white oh, okay. cross. And I was just like, I can't believe... I could barely see it. Never mind you play Vertigo. It just disappears every wall. Right. Free Vertigo would be a hard one for that. Crazy. But I do think, though, that now that I can go left hand, one thing I used to do when I was playing was when the focus, you, you need to, focusing on the crosshair is very important, yeah. right? Yeah. But you can only change subtle things within the game to draw your focus to these things. So after a certain amount of time, you become a little bit complacent. Yes. So actually using left hand to model kind of freaks your eyes, your brain out a little bit. That's, that's what we call the honeymoon period when you have new settings, when you change your resolution. Yeah. Your brain and your eyes are a little bit more locked in because something's changed. I had the same thing when I got new peripherals. Like when I got a new keyboard and I was immediately practicing, I felt like my movement was much better than it had been. Mm. Yeah. Do I attribute that to the keyboard or the fact that I'm now super focused, focused yes. on yeah, how focused. my inputs are feeling and right. what they're registering, how they're registering? How's your movement feeling today? So far, so good, actually. Yeah, uh, yeah my counter strafe has gone up. To, uh, I've hit 90 on Litify in my counter strafe. Oh, good. It, it, was, it was always sub uh, 90, closer to 70 at the start, so we've got better. I'm counter strafing successfully now. Nice. Yeah, I, I've been using one of those whiz-bang keyboards, but I, I think that I'm just going to go back to what I was using before, which still has uh, a, a better actuation point. But I, I, but the problem is I got one of those that are full-size, and re normally I use... Uh, you want the smaller keyboard, yeah, you want to lose the numpad. Yeah, I'm not yeah. using a 60%, I'm, I would use an 80%. Yeah. And then I just think that the, the big keyboard, I noticed, and it was, it was le legitimately hurting my back, having to have my wider stance. Right, because I'm so, so used, spread, and because yeah. I, I couldn't turn the keyboard as far, because it'd be off the table. Sure. So I did have a couple. Okay. So as part of this technical issue, we've seen Dexter put on a jacket. That's a bit chilly down here. We saw the windbreaker earlier. That was a bold strategy. Now, for... would you prefer, Jason, if it's too hot, you can't take off any more clothes, or would you prefer it to be too cold and you can put on extra layers? Oh, in an environment like this, I'd go for I'd go for too cold and add layers. Okay. I can do the roll-up gaming with like a long sleeve t-shirt. I can roll hoodie, up. Hoodie, I can't. I don't think I could with a hoodie. No, but the long sleeve t-shirt, I could. Yeah, I've yeah. made it work before. So, uh, someone in the chat saying, "Caster boys, I want to hear you pronounce Tatsuki." Tatsuki. 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 Okay, that's nice. Is that a team? Yeah, I think so. From from Greece. Yeah, Tatsuki. from Greece. Yeah. yeah, we don't see them too often, but when they do show up, I know, I could name at least one Greek player. Call of Duty player or Counter Strike player? Really? Yeah. Who? Tatsuki? <laughs> so, uh, it was Tatsuki, but no, now it's, uh, I believe it's Trojan. It's a very Greek name. Yep, it is. There's a start. Dexter gets himself Ooh. two on the rip. And if he goes down here, Rez, it would have been round over. Instead, he's opened up the opportunity. Dexter occupies long, so the cross is uncomfortable. Molly will not limit his options, but Rez has hit another heady. Catches the rotation. Isaac nails it. And NIP have turned a 3v5 on its head, thanks to Rez. Oh, they're coming for him. 
Good luck. Have fun. Both from Cave. No thanks. Well, long smoke, so that'll channel them into this crossfire. 180 degrees, unless Nerds gets his smoke down. He could smoke off towards short. No, they're just going to step on out. Surely Nerds gets the smoke in, just trying to bait out a fight. It's not going to happen. This round looks like it's NIPs every day of the week. And that should be it. Ooh, maybe he wants to smoke for the bomb. He's going to challenge a little bit more. There's the double peek. Once that kill, he's got it. Good trade from Wrinkle. Not giving up the fight, and we're tied up. Wrinkle. Did you see the singing that they were doing last time? Oh, yeah, it was beautiful. Yeah. We had a good we had a good moment there. You did. Yeah. It was Friday night karaoke. Yeah. yeah. And we all love a little bit of karaoke. Oh, let's go. Did I... some with Henry last week. Okay. Like actual karaoke. Actual karaoke. Okay. Get right was there. All the boys. Tinko. Can get right sing? He sang. He did no! sing. Yeah. He yeah. Did. He sang. Okay. Nice. I thought that, is that, is that did Alex just say a, na a naughty word in Russian? No. Just sounded like it. We called him Ringo. Ringo! <sighs> gonna get the plant down on long, and it's a, gonna be a unicorn round, right? Jason's favorite beetle. I was thinking Tombstone. Oh, Johnny Ringo, he just looks like someone just walked over your grave. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that one. Ever, but I think we should just pretend that it, it was a good reference. It's, it's, an, it's an incredible, it's one of the best westerns. It's one of the best. Ringo it's Tomb one of the best. Tombstone, Val Kilmer. Ringo Tombstone. Kurt Tomb Russell. Tombstone. Tombstone Ringo. Wider. Oh, the movie that came out on the year I was born. I don't know, was it? Yeah. <laughs> well, that, that's, yeah, I don't think the socks are going to matter at this point, huh? No. Well, anyways, <laughs> next time you're sitting around, you need a movie night with, uh, with, with Tombstone. anyone. Tombstone. Yeah, Tombstone. Throw it, on. Throw it on there. Classic. It's good, yeah. Kurt Russell, Val Kilmer. Of course. I thought Val Kilmer was a character Ryan Reynolds played. <laughs> Now I'm feeling old. Am I, uh, am I, am I close? <laughs> I just couldn't tell if he was serious. I didn't want to respond to it. <laughs> oh, oh, dear. You've seen Top Gun, though, right? Val Kilmer's in that. He's in both of them, actually. Oh, is he Goose? No, he's Iceman. Iceman. He's also in a Rocky movie, isn't he? No, I don't think so. Isn't he? Val Kilmer? He's in Kiss Kiss Bang Bang with Robert Downey Jr. Oh, that's right. Who am I confusing him? With? Ryan Reynolds? Yeah, if you say not. Dolph Lundgren, I'm going to be. I think I was actually. You <laughs> cannot possibly confuse that man with anyone else. <laughs> oh dear. Dolph. That's a name, isn't it? It's more of a sound than a name. <laughs> Is he German? Uh, I don't know actually. I actually have no idea. We'll find out. I always just assumed he was Russian because he plays a Russian in the movie. And that's, that was that was where I went. <laughs> Jason typecasting. <laughs> All right, well, uh, this rifle round, nothing's been... Oh, deep donut smoke. That's going to flush nerds back. This is an A split. It's got an A split written all over it. Not a banana split. An A split. Not as tasty. Oh, they're touching in the smoke. And it's not gone well for Rez. Alex goes down and already looking problematic for Wrinkle. He's lost Isaac as well. So, yeah, no fun. 40 seconds. It's time to play Save Simulator. Welcome to Wrinkle's Worst Nightmare. Dolph is actually Swedish. And Swedish. Uh, I was just reading the news. He's the biggest NIP fan in the world. Oh, uh, massive NIP So he's watching this game. Shout out to Dolph one time. Loved your work in the uh, Rocky film. And they do have a Swedish core. Yeah. They did it. They pulled it off. It all worked out. A Spanish in-game leader. I think he's also like a genius, Dolph Lundgren. <laughs> Sorry, Dolph is a. Genius. I think he's actually like a like a mechanical engineer or something like a mechanical engineer. Like a massive brain. Yeah, oh, okay. I don't really know how to describe it. Okay. Oh, cool. massive brain. Three, three, three's three's a piece. Three numbers. Yeah, and there's only an op for the T side. They're gonna buy up around it. Are we still like in a wrinkle? was uh, obviously the last Pro League season, the last CSL Pro League, not number 19. Uh, he was excellent. He was lighting up, the, yeah, lighting up the world. The team was pretty, like they had Kaspersky around Right, it was a whole pug situation. Phoenix, yeah, so it was tough to really grade them. But there have been some uh, decent moments for NIP, but also there's been some that have felt a little bit underwhelming. So I think they're still trying to find themselves as a, as a team. Yeah. Ooh. All right, they're going to fight nerds out mid with the extinguish one for one. Isaac on the trade. Maxter makes the space. And mid control is NIPs. 
Yeah, smokes are up. Dexter is going to be locked out of red room. So over towards CT spawn to keep an eye on the A bomb site. And NIP starting to work up towards B. Bomb is on the back of Wrinkle. So Isaac sent on a little solo mission right at the AWP, right up the gut. I thought that Dexter, when he put the jacket on, he got two kills immediately. I, we could have really started to jacket talk toggle, about it. Exactly, yeah. but unless he grabs a couple again, that conversation might be done. I've always been found, found myself in a bit of a pickle about when smoking ramp is the right decision and when it's not. Based on the information of your team, right? So obviously if you're feeling pressure and they're coming for it and you want to block into rotation, then that sure. That feels good. But also if your team searches for info elsewhere and it sees it's clear, then you should block because it's likely it's coming your way. Either way, it makes sense. Smoke, interesting one from Dexter. Gives him something to play around and shush catching the first arrival. It's huge. It lets Dexter activate from the big box. Alex hits a good shot on that flanker. So we do find ourselves in a 2v2 with time to pivot. Yeah, they're going to pivot onto the other side of the map. Bomb is in middle on Wrinkle. He's going to jump up, drops, swaps out the AWP for an AK-47. Going to work his way in towards Cave. And there's a little cutoff lurk from Alex to make sure Dexter can't cross over. And that's hard to clear as an AWP. He will clear it though. I spoke too soon. Oh, oh, what? what was that? He's got a friction burn on his wrist after that one. Good grief. It was like a double take, a full comic book double take. Wrinkle can still win this. Can he? Oh, and that's highlighted by our obs team. The diffuse kit is down. So time on Wrinkle's side. I think he wins it. Or is there a wrinkle in time? 10 second of oh, no chance. A clutch for Wrinkle. Over. Take over. shape. Stun. It's already theirs. Dexter just wants to hold the angle, but he will have to leave the bomb site and he's going to lose his all. He loses it all. Wrinkle takes the round. It's four for NIP. And Dexter goes down with a ship. I actually like the shit talk. I would have yeah. done, done the sassy. same thing. Yeah. I would have done the same thing because he doesn't have an AWP available now. Yeah, like, what are you doing? And that was, a, I wrinkled the orb on the other side, doing it with the right. I would have done the exact same thing. Actually, more. There would have been more shit talk. Yeah, you would. I feel like you'd get a little more spice than that. This was crazy. Did he, he like jump into that? Right? He like had like some kind of weird movement. I think Alex just got messed up with. Let him know. Let him know. Swede's not hey, known rush. for their shit talk. Hey, rush. Oh, this is head on. Dixon, one and done. Rez is on the war pass. Shush does need to delay. I think they might disrespect Cancel. that. Yep. No, call it. Just pull the plug, get back, and and then I always have this terrible fear that when you call a cancel on someone like this, Chad, they could be lane. They could have all of lane and mid and it, everything. It is a worry, but uh, you also have to keep in mind that you just have multiple bodies spotted towards over a main, so you forced a rotation likely. Sure. And because of the setup they started with, it's not a standard setup. So you know that it's unlikely they have full B lane control. Oh, flash wasn't bad. Wasn't good. Needed to be better. The only person it would have affected was the guy jumping up on the and boxes who's looking, looking at B-Lane. Yeah. <laughs> so, the idea was there, the yeah. timing was not. Uh, you gotta say, cool shift though from Heroic to just say, we don't need to go to the B-Bomb site, let's go right towards middle. That's the first choke point they have access to. And I am surprised to see NIP have a knee-jerk reaction off the back of that, because it didn't have a lot of util. Yeah. So, they're aware that they drew the rotation, but then they went to the next closest point right. of contact instead yeah. of just full resetting. So uh, trying to crowbar their way into the round. Now it's likely going to be Heroic drawing it back to an even keel. That's not Key and Peel. No, not to be confused with the comedy stylings of Key and Peel. And I said... You don't know the bit? I know some. This is the same bit. They do it over and over again, just changing locations. No, not th I don't know that specific bit. I know some of their bits. I'm not well versed in that one. Okay. How would you go about winning this one? Headshots. Okay, headshots, the name of the game. And yeah, no, just body shots. So unfortunately not following the plan. That's a headshot. That's two. Wrinkle rocks him. Oh, you talk so much shit if you win this round. Oh, come on, Wrinkle. Oh, he's done it. That's the I most important it. part of the round. That's no kit. Like, what are you supposed to do? Yeah, this is the fight. Wrinkle down. This is actually looking promising. Has to fight. He has to hold it. Isaac, counting in his head. Five, four. Oh, yeah, oh, oh, wins oh, oh, it out. Oh, oh, oh. Nice out of them, bro. Insane, bro. 2v4. A 2v4. Oh, dear. That one is going to leave a mark, isn't it? Yup. That one is going to leave a mark. Y yeah, and, and this is... Well, we didn't see the mid-fight, but the mid-fight is where you thought the round was over. Yeah. So, Wrinkle rinsing them. Isaac with the final blow, essentially, in the clutch, the one-on-one, -on -one, and that is going to feel good. Hey.
<laughs> I'm sure Rez is not really used to this type of fanfare, considering he is a Swede. Yeah, they don't do that in Sweden. Having a, a Ukrainian and a Spaniard who are going nuts. <laughs> Yeah, this is basically uh, as far as the Swedes go. Is that they might they might look up and smile. At you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right. All right. Well, uh, an eco now for heroic. Okay. Yeah. Nuke up next. Anubis is the third and decider. I should have done nuke. I should have, should have shown Jason a one standard spot outside smoke wall. Don't worry about yeah. nuke. Jason is trying to veto it in our. Oh stack. yeah. That's I am. Fair oh, I'm trying to get it. Yeah, because it's like you need a plan, and we kind of just show up and play, you know. And it's like fair I, I don't like. I don't enjoy playing nuke when it's a little disorganized. No, that's fair. And enough. you'll agree. You'll agree. Hugo was sandbagging me on top side. Uh, yeah, a little bit. He yeah. started out that way. We had to fix some things. Already. What happened? We did the whole like uh, Harry. Harry was playing mini. I was playing outside. Alex yeah. was upper. Uh, Trace was ramp, and then Hugo just wanted to kind of be like the floor player, the rotating He player. was the AWPA. But he never went into the upper bomb side. Well, that's kind of, the, the, that's so kind of also think, Harry's responsibility. I think, yeah, I was going to say, there was there was a little bit of confusion, because Harry was throwing a lot of Molotovs from me outside, not throwing a Molotov towards Squeak Door, so Alex got overrun at one point. It was, it was just, okay. again, disorganized. Oh, yeah, disorganized, that's all it was. Sometimes the AWPA will start up Heaven to Molly Hut, right? And the Correct. other top side Precisely. player can Molly Door and drop Hut yeah. or drop Sight. Uh, but it really depends on how, what type of fights you're going to be taking. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it was, again, just the disorganization. Of That's the all it was. Your yeah. main player doesn't always have to start from outside to main. can also start through top side and transition towards main after blocking yeah. door. Because it's not really a main player, it's more of a door player. Yeah. yeah. Well, that... So it sounds like Harry was in the wrong spot. The, Harry was, was kind of... I'm, I'm happy to give blame equally to Harry and Hugo. Yeah, okay, deal, deal. As long as I'm not involved, that sounds great. <laughs> They try and their luck at mid. Uh, just pushing these smokes. It's always a bit of a gamble. Maxic does claim it for the NIP squad. 6-3. And this could very well put them in real comfortable territory for the remaining couple of rounds on their T side. Seven already up for debate. If they transition quickly into a B hit, it might be a good timing because Heroic are going to play forward. That's info for Tess says. Actually getting caught off guard there a little bit. So flak damage down to 58 points of health will block. Now we have Heroic playing forward in middle. But if you wanted to catch this timing NIP, you need to be hitting the B site now. Yeah, there's only two of them there. I mean, what's Kixon supposed to do if suddenly Util starts landing? The rotation is far away, just red room for Dexter. That's... Isaac lines up for the long smoke. Short smoke from Wrinkle. Molly for the cubby. This is awkward for Tessus. This feels like a commit, and it is. Smoked off and spammed down! Beautiful. Massive work from Kixon. A two-man defensive B. No need for a rotation. That's perfect timing on the defensive smoke from Kicks and throwing it from the back corner of Long and just stepping up to the plate. That's lovely. Goes a little deep, but the spray down is perfect. It's just the timing was off for NIP yeah. because the idea was right. They knew that Heroic were going to try and take some mid-info back. They were opting to do that. It just took them too long to hit this site. I think the smoke off in Cave probably slowed them down. Yeah. They probably wanted to wait a little longer so that that player could activate, but that, that <laughs> cost them seconds. You see the Kicks in there? Maybe we could catch that in the uh, replay from our... Uh, Obs team. Well, not the Obs team, because that's J-Raz and Chef. A replay team. Uh, the a replay re team. Or maybe, is it Jakey at the moment? Is Chev still going? Chev, are you Chef. with us? He was playing ping pong Hi, earlier Chef. today. He might still Hi, be. Guys. Hey, what's Chef up, Chef? Jay. Chef's here. MC will be in later. But yeah, uh, Kixon definitely gave them a little bit of sass right. Here it is. I like it. Oh, Ooh. that's very calm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Don't you like it? Down. Right. I, I do like it a little down. bit. It fits him very well. It does. There is, it does, yeah. There's a little bit of a rivalry between these two rosters. It definitely feels that over the the very short period at ESL Pro League, they've got them a little bit of a bee in their bonnet. I would imagine that heroic social media Oi! team causes a little bit of a yeah. yeah they had a couple of spicy tweets. It's all in good fun. It, it was all in good fun, and they were excellent tweets. I loved all of them. But I'm not on NIP, so... Imagine no. if you lose this round, though, Jason. How would you be feeling? Oh, and then Wrinkle Terrible. starts screaming, standing oh. up. I actually kind of want him to lose just to see what happens. <laughs> <laughs> this would be hard to lose. Well, life finds a way. Kicks and finds a way to slay. <laughs> there was a small opportunity for Rez to get a crazy spray, but now Max and his Glock with it all to do. Hopeless. All right, well, he'll be mopped up in just a moment's get time. Get, just get the AK, bro. Yoink. Okay, well, that's not too shabby. Uh, we're going into the last round of the half. Heroic, best they can do is tie things up 6-6. Six, six. A plant for NIP, well, that's just going to give them everything they need and more as far as the U2 and weaponry is concerned. Wrinkle will even pull out the AWP, but yeah, unless Rez gets the multi-kill with the AK, yeah. there's just not enough weapons in enemy hands. So really good work here from Nerds on the double. And even if he does, I think you need that double to come out before your, your cave players get, get dispatched of by oh, Kixon. Sure. Yeah. 
Okay, well, both teams fully invested. Final round. Everything we need for the fireworks. Oh, Deep Molly missed. Deep Molly missed. Punished as well. Oh. Could have been two. Could still be two. Nerds playing on the very edge of that to re-smoke. They push through off the flash. A chance for Mags. Huge damage onto Tessus, but bro brought down by Nerds. Last round of this half, Heroic to tie it up evenly with a man advantage bomb detached from the remaining two with lane control. Oh, that was his chance. That was a real opportunity. Nerds gets away with his life. Yeah, I was going to say, who's to play next? Now, we, we have seen NIP pick up a 2v4 before, so this one's definitely not out of the realms of possibility considering the HP. Now, it's just about are they able to find an incision in towards the site? Isaac on his own, this is problematic, has the bomb. And quite a difficult clear if he threw the molly and it's almost certainly a kill i don't think he even clears this now he might just walk in and get sideswiped by nerds yep there it is bombed down and that should be round done jason you want to take us to break i would love to take us to break it was a it was a really good uh really good half of counter-strike between these two teams i thought wrinkle was very exciting uh i thought heroic has a, has a nice little comeback a bounce back to make sure they can tie things up i really didn't expect this to last this long um so alex is going to keep playing in towards jaguar blocked off by molotov he's still got 35 seconds left on the clock however this is day five here at esl pro league uh season 20. we are eliminating some teams we are sending some teams forward to have another chance to qualify for playoffs. We're doing a lot of cool stuff today. We've also had a couple skits mixed in there, and that's the half. Six to six for Heroic and IP, and we will be right back after these messages. getting a streak of rounds near the end of the first half and definitely have made things quite competitive. Yeah, beautiful way to bring us back in and seven to five. Wildcard hoping that they can get this map underway. 3D Max are searching for a 2-0 victory today versus the North American squad. And they've got a lot of work still to do. This isn't going to be an easy T side by any means, but into the pistol, they've invested quite a lot into Jocko and Gravity. And that util is going to fly in towards the B-bomb side. One short, one long. Smoke's deployed. Ooh, OCT is playing in front of it, and Fuzzy thought he might get the up on them, but he ends up getting gooshed immediately, but forced back in behind that smoke, in behind that cover. Ah, just a tickle away from death. No cave control as well, Digger. This is gonna, not going to be a comfortable retake here for a wild card, especially with two players so very low. And I don't see a kid either. It's going to come down to these deals. And these post-plan positions, pretty solid. But oh. Yeah, Susp coming in, Sonic following up, and the CTs. What? Oh, getting stopped at the door by Exercise, who just doesn't stop. A 3K in the post-plant, nice shot from JBA. Suddenly all unlucky. 10 seconds stick on the defuse if he gets him off it, which he has. Now looking like he's already won it. They walk right into him, they run out of ammo, and time is the problem for JBA. He'll get the shot off no as he sprints down the ramp, but it's all about saving his Kevlar now as he sprints away. 3D Max, after a chaotic pistol, they'll come out on top of it. Yeah, huge from exercise. It looked like somehow Wildcard had pulled off something miraculous, but no kits. That's got a pistol going the way of the French. Joko's been having a very, very, very quiet game so far. It was a player of the match yesterday. So hopefully he wakes up at some point in time, Dinka. Otherwise, it's uh, not looking good. All right, fast uh, play coming in. That's a perfect call from 3D Max. And that is indeed going to be a free round, a free plant. I'm not much going to be happening this round. Uh, just to answer the question earlier, like we'd, we'd asked who would have the...
Hey, you. Yeah, you. Sitting there watching ESL Pro League Season 20. Heroic versus NIP. Have you ever wanted to ask a question directly to a professional Counter-Strike player? Well, now, now is your chance. Use the email eplmailbag at efg.gg and send your questions in for Heroic or NIP. Whoever wins this series, we might ask your question to the players in the post-mortem. Back into the action. How do I send my player? How do I send my question, Chad? Oh, that's eplmailbag at efg.gg. Use any email provider that you may have. Shoot it in and we'll get it directly here on the show. Sick. Even Hotmail? Hotmail hot users mail, get priority. Gmail. Yeah, you still have a Hotmail. That's that's not Outlook a Proton Express. Mail. Oh, Anything Proton you've got. Mail. Yeah. IINet. AOL. AOL. Whatever Yahoo. you've got, we'll take it. Yeah. Or Yahoo, if you're weird. <laughs> I think that's a chocolate milk. Here <laughs> right. we go. <gasps> Nerds is coming out is with the bomb. Shush going to do the Molotov? <gasps> but Alex has a smoke. Ooh. Scissor, paper, rock, <laughs> lizard, Spock. <laughs> Why was that so hype? I bloody loved that. Thanks, guys. I'm here all week. Oh, it's beautiful. <laughs> what beats Spark? Lizard. Lizard? Obviously. Okay. All right, nerds. What you got? Ooh, I don't like it at all. They're shooting his toes off. Oh, they're, tr they're trimming his fingertips or his toenails. Hang on. One still found by nerds. This Molotov will come into play, but there is a smoke grenade as we discussed. Alex throws it down onto the bomb. Your plan is cancelled. Your Molotov is useless. He does fake it out. They're on the bomb with the knife out. And so this is their round. Nothing here for Alex. Oh, oh, no, he's no, he's no, nice. from Kickson. Oh, baby. Oh, I can't believe I've heard that. <laughs> this is why you put the players in front of each other. Ah, oh, it's so nice to see this manifest, this yeah. setup. You know, we've been begging, Jason. We've been years. Begging. It's taken years. And then you get hasta la vista, baby. Hasta when would we have ever vista, got that? baby. Wow, you must. It, w no one's saying that if your opponent's on the other end of the hall, facing the other direction. <laughs> What's nerds been watching? I don't know, but it's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently a bunch of Arnold movies. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's so good. So good. So good. Ice cream. So good. Ooh. Oh, that's a different one. I, I went to multiple there. I went to Zonic. Went to Zonic. And then when you said it, I went to... So good. I got you. Dun, 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 dun. Well, this is a very damaging uh, economical round. It could be more than that with the Ding Contessa. So if Sprinkle's feeling frisky. The only bummer is it happens so deep they can't actually recover any of those guns. Yeah, but Jason, wrinkle, wrinkle, little star. How I wonder where you've gone. The map is small. The sights are big. Will wrinkle win this thing? It's close. It wasn't great. Five out no, of seven. Good, it wasn't great. Yeah, you... Sorry, guys. I work on it. You deserve better. No, I think you did a, I think you did a lovely job off the top of your head. That was very nicely done. Can Wrinkle split their wig? Oh, there you go. Okay. I thought he'd be pushing towards mid to wrap around and pick up a gun and still go for this, but he's just taking the gamble and he's and he's gonna lose. But he can still pick up a gun. No, he's gonna give his choice of a few weapons unless they've that got some That is a factory new fade. Look at this. Oh, that's a pretty leave one. Leave him alone, nerds. Unless. Come on, Wrinkle. Just fight for it. You got nothing to lose. Everything to gain. Did Ringo just shrug? I don't know, man. It felt like he just shrugged a bit. What do you want me to do, mm. man? That's what it looked like. What do you want me to do? I don't like that he's backed off this fight. I wanted him to. If flex he runs a to bit. the bomb and taps it, right? Maybe it draws them in for the. No, never mind. He's saving USP, isn't he? No, well, he's kind of. He's just trying to make the timings a little bit weird. But he gave up any any knowledge of the fight that he was going to step. Whoa! Uh, um, uh, um. Whoa! Oh. Hot damn! Now he said, it's a quote, so I can say it. He said, and I quote, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, uh, please forgive me. Yeah, go he on. said, stop fucking baiting, you fucking bot. Oh, I love that. It's so vicious. They're getting into it. Nerd's got 18 kills. Why do they hate each other? I love that they do. Yeah. I, I mean, I'm, this is a, lost on me. We're going for an A-pop. Oh, this could be really nasty. This could be horrible. Max is the closest one there. He's panicking, rotating. Wrinkle will be smoked off, but he still pulls the trigger onto Tessus. Again, that full rush, so that info comes so quick. Everyone from NIP's arrived. They're going to start slipping through the smokes like cockroaches. Wrinkle's got another one. Five on three. Bomb goes down. But what an advantage for the Ninjas. Oh! 
Oh, there was such a chance. They were so blind. Kicks it and shush combine, and now it's a two on two. I thought they had it in the bag, but it's slipping through their fingers now. Both from Donut side. There's What's a smoke the on Okay, smoke no kit yet. Maybe there's one idle. One Isaac. Don't see it yet. Awkward. Very awkward. It looks like they may have done enough here, Heroic, to build upon the trash talk. You can't trash talk and then lose. The bomb. Oh, they're saving. And so the ninth comes through from Heroic, and the sass is converted upon. Why did NIP put that retake in place so fast? I Are don't they know. just trying to say, we know there's a one in the bomb site who's planted the bomb, let's Ooh. go for it, we have that <laughs> Okay. Right. I'm not saying that one. <laughs> I didn't catch it. <laughs> yeah, lucky you didn't. I'm not saying that one, okay. Jason. I didn't catch it either. I was talking. I'm going to start well, shutting up maybe, at the end of the round. Maybe he said something that I... Well, maybe I missed it. Well, I don't know. But don't I'm know. not going to say what I thought I heard. Okay. Good. Good. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Never mind, it's not what I thought I heard. <laughs> but I now, I now I understand. Now I understand. Now I understand, yeah. Okay, well, that's all right. That's not bad. Six to nine. How would it be if the opponent, when you were playing a matchmaking game, could sit across from you and yell? Oh, mate, there'd be some words exchanged, that's for sure. <laughs> Dude, I, I love Alex when he gets into the, the smack talk. <laughs> yeah. He really has to mute everything because otherwise he gets drawn Why in. Why don't you have him muted? No, I do, I do now. He does Just now. because, because I've, it becomes a new game. The game is now the second game. The main game is to break them... Okay. Spiritually, mentally, yeah. I went to the game over. emotionally. I went to the game's over. I think another person who's good for that is uh, is Scrawny. Yes. Scrawny really goes to attack the core of a human being yes. when they piss him off. It's it's great. It's great. Yeah. Well, one of my most recent achievements was really upsetting someone by saying, I bet you watch YouTube shorts. <laughs> Why did that upset you? <laughs> Why did that upset you? <laughs> that's, that's embarrassing for you. Oh, dear. <laughs> Just a few less hours on YouTube shorts, man. <laughs> a few more hours in the deathmatch. I like to call them dogs. Dogs strong. It is strong. Because yeah. some dogs are so nice. True. So but when you're calling them a dog, oh, that's nice. I'll tell you what, that is gorgeous. A kill would have been better, but you'll take 99 damage. And I would say that's a good time to smoke ramp. It's forcing them to push through past the 5-7, which could do some damage. Max oh, has a chance. He has a chance. He has a shot. Uh, uh, mm, mm. Too much choice. You know, that's what? modern day capitalism. It is. Too much choice. Too much, yeah. You know, you go into the supermarket, Jason, and you just want to buy some detergent. Dude, you spend like 10 minutes looking at different detergents. Some of it's like right. extra strength. Some of it's it's crazy. Back in the day, you know, you'd go to your local pub, and there'd be about four or five different potential partners in your local town. So Sorry, now what? you open up <laughs> Tinder, and there's hundreds of thousands. I thought we were about to talk about different types of pints I was you talking about have, modern, I, was I thought it was going to be beers. Modern okay. day dating, yeah. you see? Oh, okay. Back in the day, it was like, oh, who's in my age range and single sure. and there's like six of them and it's around okay. now my you area. open up the internet carousel yeah. and there's just an infinite spawning humans and for you to squall, if you scroll if you think through. about those dating apps yes. they are not designed to get you off of the app they want to keep you on the app because yeah. they're they, they don't care if you end up in a happy relationship they just want you to keep spending money Jason on in super fact, likes they're incentivized to keep you out of a happy relationship exactly. they right. want you coming back so they're matching you with people who you are unlikely to have a successful relationship and so let so, us know using the mailbag if you've had a successful relationship through tinder new dating play you, we're all gonna go off of the apps and instead we're all just gonna try hobbies we're just gonna be like i'm gonna try and learn how to make clay pots and you might meet a cutie while you're making clay oh, pots oh pottery's a great date Alex. yeah that's, a, that's a wonderful date the yeah. of the movie with Ghost, Bobby goldberg patrick swayze demi moore demi moore is that the one with adam sandler 50 first dates oh my god <laughs> now he's joking <laughs> <laughs> I remember her. Yeah, 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 yeah. That kind of bohemian queen. Hey, look at the B bomb site. Yeah, that's it's, a bomb it's site. Open it for is. business. Speaking of speed dating, they're going to stroll right in here with no big issue. Well, Rez could get swiped right on. Or swiped left, actually. Yeah, no, denied. It always sucks for that when that happens. Jason, I don't think you've ever had Tinder on your phone, mate. No. No. Didn't think so. Good gonna, catch, good one. They're going to give this <laughs> retake a go. 
That's their own ramp, smoke. So the CTs have to wait for that to fade, and I think that probably seals the deal. Get on out of there. That's going to be 11 for Heroic. They're just marching to this victory. Surely you're not giving this one a go, are you? I they might feel like they have to. Oh, they're going. Oh, and they're going all right. Covered and cleared. Tessus down. Look at oh, the shush can come up, Clutch. Monstrous spray. And heroic erupt. That was a, that was a way back into this game for NIP. It was. Yeah. That was it. And it is annoying when they go for late retakes because you start to think no one's coming. You start to uh, peer back. And well, this was the opener from Nerds, but the little boost that happened over towards Donut, I think it was Maxter and Isaac got the double there. Into the site, didn't feel too troublesome, but then when you see the way back in from B lane, you think they should probably save, and they lose it all. So Existence calls the second of uh, their three tactical timeouts. Now it gets really desperate. They're gonna buy up here, off in the hands of Wrinkle. <laughs> it's an elimination match. I, I, love have, to, I have to remind fight. myself, like you've, you've showed up today and it's like, are you going to get eliminated today? Are you actually going to yeah. are you going to lose to this team? Is this going to be the team that ruins your dreams of EPL playoffs? We'll find out. Heroic are making a strong case though, map one. But when it's like this, it takes me back into time to like when I would have really? been, yeah. you know, as you guys know, four yeah. play games or DNA. Obviously, there was in Pabri, there was in Canning. Four play games. Four play games. That's the land that I spent the <laughs> most of yeah. my time at. Yeah, that Hell was yeah. uh, owned by uh, Gareth. Shout out to Gareth. Did they serve slush Fox puppies? Still installs these days. Um, was there slush puppies available? No, no, no. Oh. But yeah, that's where it was right near the beach. Oh, and uh, they're going B. B pop, B pop, B pop. I'll reset Miss Jason. Shot, miss shot, miss shot. Wrinkle makes good on his promise though. Still hits nuts, can't hit another one. And uh, yeah, we can just call this 12. No worries, no, nothing to be fearing here. Rez, however, getting one is a little bit problematic. Especially now Tessus is low HP and goes Double. down. Very doable. Dexter bomb. steps up. Yo. Oh, that's a bit too much. Cool your jets, son. It's a lot of mustard on that hot dog. Kicks and wins this. And now they see the bomb down, so they realize they don't actually have to go clear deep. He's got to go chase them down. Watch Kicks and win this. This will be the greatest clutch of Kicks in his career. So far. So far. Kicks in. Time has passed. Possibilities are endless now. You can see Isaac concerned about the potential to slip through mid. The smoke gives him some angles to work with as he cl edges closer to bomb retrieval. Molly's good. Molly useful, considering the HP of Rez as well. Audible steps, knows that it's occupied. This bomb retrieval will not be easy. Now goes loud, an opportunity, but slips past the wayside. It's triple kill for Maxter and a quiet half from him so far. So good to see him on the board, a nice multi-kill. I think Max is probably the one in this team that if he can have some real growth as a player, mm. then you can start to get a little bit more excited because you know what you're going to get with Isaac, right? He's a very good supportive element. Uh, I think that Wrinkle has shown some, some decent peaks yeah. mm -hmm. uh, with the AWP and with the stats. Uh, but I, I think for Max, uh, he's kind of one of these next-gen Swedes. And if we can see him, it's been a decent amount of time so far, but has to find some footing to be the third rifler of the squad. It needs to be Rez, Maxter, uh, and then Wrinkle on the AWP. Because Isaac doesn't play the positions to, to have that level of impact, I wouldn't say. Yeah, that's fair. I, and I know I, I talked to Rez, or not Rez, I talked to Thread about that the other the other day, uh, GMing uh, NIP, and just kind of mentioned that you, know, you guys are kind Come of on, this kind of like... You. Shut up, Jason. Yeah. Banana one. I'm looking longer than... Low. Side diffusing. Oh, you got us. What was oh, Daddy, door, boys? <laughs> yeah. Sitting next to Dexter, it's a dangerous game. <laughs> Get slapped in the face. Uh, hand probably more than the face but what was Strat saying he was saying he was just talking about like the the process of uh promoting from within from within the academy teams which is where maxter came from and stood in for me he's just like it's it's a lot easier for tier one teams to do that because you have so much more data on the player you know like the kind of person he is you know he reacts in situations mm. and you have so many things you can work on where if you go and pull from you know an external source you're taking a big risk in terms of what kind of personality what kind of work ethic what kind of you know player inside the server personality is such a big one i think yeah. it's so it's so understated it was even the case back in the day right yep and a person's temperament or the way that they're going to show up day in day out is actually a very big deal how what they approach disagreements and yeah, exactly. conflicts yeah and with with young people it's not easy right like these are finding yourself in new conversations it takes a while before you understand that hey it's not my way or the highway it has to be uh, well compromise yeah, right? exactly that's life i need to build an exit ramp 
Yeah, yeah. potentially. This is unfun, isn't it? Being smoked off A main when you're fully invested into the commitment of the A site. You just have mid lurk on one. Tessa's edging out there now. Isaac responsible for the site. Has some support in maxed up. Trying to bait him in. Trying to set him up for success. And it seems perfect. Given the util. Oh, and the kill. He sold that. He sold it. A free kill. Bomb down, but goes down to Dexter. The round's still on. Ooh, oh, or is nice it? Shot. Huge from Alex. Gets too long range on the M4. Awkward for Tess. There's 15 seconds. No time for him to do anything with this. And we'll get peaked apart. Rez running in to deny the plant. And that is the eighth. And IP, they're on the board. And, and this they get is, loud. This is a perfect time for a little comeback from NIP as well. They've taken all the money away now from Heroic. So if you're NIP, you're thinking you can close the gap to just two after this round. One more gun round, and you're and you're tied up, and you're looking at playing the full 24. Kind of tough if you're Maxter in that position because the aim hate's blocked. You you want them to all t come out and be able to get like a multi kill in that position. Unfortunately, it was just dribs and drabs. So. A little bit unfortunate. Yeah, the Molotov thrown defensively split them as well. Oh, yeah. Kept two players just set back in A main, and all they could do is look for that peak. Okay, well, uh, just these Glocks, a Deagle that's already been slapped down to about 68 points of health. No, not about, exactly. Same thing with nothing. Well, there was an NIP game just the other day where Isaac got overrun on A, and that was all, uh, the turning point in the match. Oh, no, they ended, that was against FaZe, right? And they still, they think they still ended up winning that map, didn't they? Yes, they did win that map against FaZe. Well, he does get overrun, but thankfully Wrinkles here to uh, to settle things down. Does fall prey to the M4 on Dexter that's recovered, who the Molotov won't do much. 11 to 9. Well, Wrinkles having another good map. 20 kills for yeah, him thus far. Really good map. A lot of impact with that AWP. It's recovered and passed back over. Wonder if, you know, it bothers him that they're calling him a beta. Probably not if he has 20 kills. It wouldn't bother me. Mm. Yeah, I'd just press tab and be okay with it. Yeah. Right now, especially that there's only two rounds of distance. So, can they bring it home? Doors and elbow. That's the defensive start for NIP. Two towards B, three out the guts of mid. Shouldn't be too much of a fight. Malt off towards heaven. Nurse is very good at this. He will back off, so felt too much pressure, unable to find his way through the smokes for the fight. If they break through this smoke, only Alex is defending inside the bomb site. Most of the defense is mid and lane. Alex, oh, he's going to reload. They're coming through this absolutely right now. He's just mistimed oh. everything. He's just oh. mistimed everything in overrun. Mismanaged. That's tough. That's punished. But this is fast from Rez. Yeah, it's not It's not over, right? Because they have this such a strong position to have this fast flank. Heroic's going to be aware of it. Good kill from Tess's. They know there were two. And now NIP have to back away. Oh. Mm. Maybe have a little bit of a look if you're wrinkled. See if you can find something with the AWP. It's not good as far as the finances are concerned, sure. But he is going to hang around and see if anything comes his way. It will be the save. There's no transition from Isaac to head back over towards the site. They want exit kills, which could be actually be really key if yeah. they can take some money away from Heroic. There was two moments of this round that were mismanaged as far as timing was concerned. Alex, Alex right? And then the second was the boost. You could see it. They opted to do it on the front side of the box, which meant that as they're mantling up, they're exposed. It's almost free kills while you're messing around on each other's heads. So a little bit problematic for NIP. Yeah, and Alex knew it. As soon as as soon as he saw one piece of utility flying over the wall, he knew he was screwed. But what, four bullets when they eventually came through that smoke? Like, you ain't, even if you get one kill there, it's not enough. And you had four bullets, but if it was an M4 or a four, you would have had a few more. Yeah. True. Uh, that's true. 14, I believe. Thank you. Yeah, I, I much prefer wow. the A4. I know, I'm on point wow, today. You are just so quick with it. I know it's positional, right? And I know it's also, it's only $100 difference in the finances. So that's a tougher argument to make. It really depends yep. on, you know, how fine it is with the buys. But I feel like the A4, like in terms of like an aimer's gun, right? I think, you know, you just feel much crisper with it. There is definitely something to be said about the, the suppressed as well. I do feel like just the, you really announce your presence. Like if you've got two, True, if you're cubby, yeah. and two people have, have, have overlooked you and you come out with an M4, it's much quicker. I feel like people react much quicker yeah. to your first bullet when it is that loud A4, but it is, I mean, it's subjective. It's, and it, is, it does feel very good when you have a good M4 A4 round. Extra bullets, feels a little snappier. The rate of fire feels better. Well, Starting they're, 3B. They're faking an A rush. That's not much of a fake. Isaac has stepped forward and he's saying, no one needs to move. We're all good. Ooh. Oh, wrinkle. Lovely demonstration of his mechanics. Quick flick, holding the angle. 
ready for the headshot onto Tess S. Unless that smoke just completely missed, you can see it on the radar. Was it meant to be destined for CT spawn or was it meant to go down? No, it was CT. Okay, mm -hmm. so they were feigning a lot of early A presence, but it hasn't worked out whatsoever. Good catch there from Mr. Raz. Wrinkle now 5-1 and one in opening duels. Krakow. Bang. Katowice. <laughs> How many other Polish cities can you name? Warsaw, Poznan, Krakow. Krakow. You already did, I did that. that one. That, that was, was the, the first, first one. one. What's wrong with me? I was trying to do it's like, like a, the third time I've done that this week. All right, Jason. It's fine. What kind of things did the comics have? Like ka kapow? Kapow. What, else, what other sounds kapow. was there? Zap? Bang. Probably Bang. a good zap. zap. There was Bang zap. was in there. Bang. Look at you doing some onomatopoeia. That's me. I'm always on the mat. So that's a matter of peer. Um, <laughs> so Counter-Strike. Let's do that instead. 25 seconds as they take red room. They can't win this round. No, they right. can't. What do we no. do? Maybe they just... Save? That's a weird one. Oh, they're having a go. Giving it a crack. Oh, this. God, he's actually in a lot of they trouble. He's, yeah, yeah. Wait, why did Isaac yeah. leave main? They could Where win did this. Isaac what? go? They done? probably thought they were saving. Yeah, he's Isaac probably saving us. A second ago, Isaac was in main. Oh, he's not there no more, oh, so dear. it's an issue. Oh, it's I jinxed it. You did. What have you done, Birch? Oh! Okay. Oh. Okay. Rez and Alex make a round out of this. Nerds and Shush fighting tooth and nail. Just the one from Shush. Nerds is dead. And Isaac does save the day. Just like we said, no way for Hero to win this one. Don't ever make me doubt myself again, Jason. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my Lord. I mean, finding the way into the bomb site, but then both kills towards CT spawn go in the way of NIP. That round uh, felt like it was firmly in control of NIP and then firmly in control of Heroic and then, and then not. Nah. I need to do a second shout out uh, before this map ends because I don't know if I'll be back. Right? Okay. We don't know what's going to happen yep. after this. But uh, weird. Uh, for the end of this series, everybody, if you would like to ask a question to the winning team, NIP or Heroic, any of their players, uh, even any of the staff that are here, please send an email to eplmailbag at efg.gg. That's your opportunity as a viewer at home to uh, you know have some control over what questions are being asked. So let us know. Thank you very much. Oh, be rush, be rush to try and close things out. And oh boy, has it gone wrong. Res. Only two, but that buys time for Alex to slide over. Bomb has dropped inside the site, and it's going to be going to the 24th round here on Ancient. Crikey. Just one word to describe it. So they picked, they bought, they fully bought on yeah. everyone except for Dexter. So the loss bonus going into the next round is only 2,400. Ooh. Yeah. I don't know if I, I don't know. I don't know if you love it. Like, what if it was just a half buy Tech Nine? It's Poppy such a D? it's such a preference thing with teams, isn't it? Though, like, you get two half buys, you get one one full buy, or two lower buys without utility. Yeah. Well, you love it, you wear it, Jason. You know that. Yeah. Okay. Well, uh, if they do get to retain these two AKs for the next 50 seconds, Dix will be able to buy one as well. So they'll have three AKs. They'll just be lacking U2. Kixon and Tessus could buy Mac 10s or Tech Nines, get U2 around it. And uh, that'll be it. Jay, show me your favorite part of the map, would you, mate? He likes... I put him on the spot. He's thinking about it right now. No. That was a nice shot, though. Yeah, but he was, Cam was already in a position, so yeah. maybe now he will search for a spot, and then we'll see it come back in a sec. Potentially. 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 Oh, no, it's a lot of pressure. We had to, we had yeah. to do it off camera. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well, I did, I did really just... Throw him under the bar. Oh, he, likes the, he likes donut. That's nice. How are those ferns living without any soil underneath them? Well, no, 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 no. There, there, there would be the some cube? form of, yeah, because that that's, you know, and also life finds a way, as Jason mentioned earlier. Yeah, it does, it does find, find a way. way. Plants so, can grow, it, like depending on the type of plant, they can grow almost anywhere. There is a plant that can uh, theoretically, it can it can die and then it can be revived like uh, like years later. Unless it has Do Not Resuscitate on it. Unless it has a DNR, yes. Yeah, okay. Jason, have you dropped your phone I again? did. It's okay, though. It's I'm fine. worried about him. As bro. a pixel guy, you know, I, I... I have a strong case on there. It does. Is it real wood? Uh, that's leather. Leather. Very similar to it wood, It matches though. my leather yeah. wrap gloves inside the game of Counter-Strike. He's obsessed with these leather wraps. I like leather. Sorry, that... <laughs> yeah. Why did, that that Why did that change? Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, that's cool though. Good to good to know, I guess. <laughs> um, no, it's up red. We'll have a clash with Isaac upon the fade. 
Isaac's trying to choose an angle wisely here, and oh, he seems like, uh, how many are you getting here? Tessa's ahead of the fade. Does go down, can't transfer. It's going to be even Stevens. Trying to split it. Oh, they're going to be coming right at a wrinkle. Bang. Oh, Ooh, he's so good. He's I ready, hate ready. watching him. Missed down his opportunity. Res done a lot there, though, by taking down Nerds. This does free up the rotation. They can come back. Where's the bomb? Where is the bomb, folks? Did you just lose it in Red Room? Just outside, towards CT. And now trying to recover oh. it, but it's under control. NIP looking for OT, and only Degster stands between them and overtime. Got the bomb at least, so once he punches in the digits, where he posts up is going to be critical, because there is a smoke and a molly as part of this retake. Oh, they're moving, they're that moving. feels bold. He's gone away with it. He gets it down, and we'll go down to the spam as NIP secure it. <laughs> okay. All right, yeah. Hey, having fun over there. Nothing to be ashamed of. No, not at Nothing all. Nothing to be ashamed yeah. of. Cheering. It has gotten a bit quiet between the teams. It has been. It's gotten a little bit more tense. I think nobody wants to talk smack when you're at this this kind of uh, pressure moment back and forth. Now that's when you talk smack. It's when you pipe up. Take them out of their flow state. But well, we have o -o -o overtime time. Oh, wow. I didn't know we had the soundboard on. Yeah, look, uh, it's been installed. Okay. Um, yeah, the button's in Does front of you. Does it just work um, randomly? Randomly, right? <laughs> yeah. It's hard to tell when it's going to work. Okay, interesting. Oh, this is uh, Lurk Smoke from B. Dexter, not too many. Oh, if they clear, that's a few more problems. Kill I was going to say, well, options you have to worry about. The fact he gets to walk away with his life, that's wild. Nerds goes down in the interim over towards middle, trying to get a little bit of space. So NIP with a strong start in OT. Another all bullet lands. Dexter and Tessas are both extremely low as flak damage is what they need to avoid. Oh, this round feels like it's slipped so far away from you if you're heroic. You've just harassed everywhere you go. First kill out in middle, but all the utility, the Dexter's play is forced off, and now all of a sudden you're kind of trapped between all this utility. Isaac pushing I up. love it. Yeah, this is great. You have to mix this in as an A player, else you, you, you actually just get bored, and also, obviously, strategically, you need to show them that you're willing to do it. And having so much space as well, if they do split through, like, red and donut into A, it gives you yeah. a potential for, like, 180 degrees that they have to clear, especially if it's a donut-type push. And NIP have actually turtled up extremely. So whichever side the fights end on, which is looking very B-centric, they need to deliver. But right? if they don't trade favorably in this scenario, then it's... It's probably over. Yeah. Depending a, on a, how... Yeah. A tough retake of how far away. Oh, Isaac's pushing. Cancel that. This is great. This is a great looking round for NIP. All you need from these boys is at least one, and they've delivered. Alex, nearly two. Wrinkle will finish it off. And yeah, Dexter, he was brought low to 5 HP at the start of this round and sent down by the USP of Wrinkle. Really nice round, right? The, the, all the damage they did within the opening. Yep. Great little response there. Can always be quite dangerous. I feel turtling up and playing so safe, but that A main pressure of the push at the perfect time from Isaac. And uh, it is going to be the tactical timeout burnt by that of Saw. Now you get one in every row of overtime. Row. I liked row. Row. Bout. Bow. Bout of overtime. Do you like a leg of overtime? A leg, leg of cool. overtime. Yeah. I like leg. Second leg. Just gets a bit weird when you get to the third, doesn't it? <laughs> Can they have back-to-back -back solid rounds? I'm also intrigued to see if they do to take lane in the same way. I'd like to be able to kind of take note of the process that led to Heroic getting so shell-shocked at the start of last round. Well, Nerds didn't get out of middle, right? Yeah. So once, and, and this is when you're nameplating, if Nerds is dead, right, at that point you're thinking, okay, they're probably not going to just be running out of the guts. That smoke, Meh. not perfect. Yeah. Good even... enough, but not perfect. No, it's trying to test mid Max to, to receive him. Double flashes, and he's out. Oh, counter flashes, though. Oh, they have no idea. Nope. He's snuck all the way across, and they have no clue he's made it to the box. He knows he's got an opportunity here if there's anyone cubby. Oh, Nerds plays this one so well. Oh. Still loses the duel. Okay. Um, be frustrated with that one. And that one, actually. If you're res, you feel like you may have missed the mark on that one. Kicks and brought to 11. Bit light on util to block Isaac. Oh, that smoke missed. Wrinkle feels pretty slow in the retake. He's going to get here maybe at the perfect moment. Good step out from Alex. Oh, the double from Alex. Ooh. Might have even sealed it. And now Dexter's got to step up and win a 1v2. Smoke blown open. He realizes where the pressure's coming from. 
But again, another clutch situation, trying to get the bomb planted. He picked up a HE. No way. They're both behind the smoke. Cold is bluff. No, they jumped through. He repositions the chance. A real opportunity for Dexter. Just narrowly misses out. Maxter, an impact round. 15 frags, but that one onto Dexter has put them into 2 0 territory. Oof, Isaac missed his smoke at long there. Did you see it? It bounced back yeah. off the wall and covered off the long side. He wasn't paying attention to our segment. I chucked that bad boy out right at the end. You nailed oh, it. Yeah. All right, well. Nice little close there from Max, that important. Well, he looks really hard. <laughs> yeah, he, he looks really very did. forlorn oh. about that one, and doesn't Alex he? Alex had some spice back over the wall. What? Get one more. Get one more, and then you can trash talk. You get a 3 0 half, I'll, uh, I'll, I'd encourage it. Well, this is, I love this line for an author. The shadow, you know, sometimes it can make you a bit trigger happy. Mm -hmm. But I'd say somebody as class as Wrinkle should be good for this. Bang. Comfortable onto the collection. And then you don't, you can't go, right? Even though he has to bolt. That's ballsy from Kixon. Uh, I don't think he gets a kill. This is not, he's going to overlook this. Oh, he does check it, but oh, Rez God. ready. Looks like Rez was sleeping there for a second. Yeah, it did. He, he let Kixon have like the first five bullets of that exchange. Ah, this is so hollow once overtime started. None of these rounds have really kicked off in Heroic's favor. No, they've all felt flat. Like when like when Nerds went down in middle, it felt like that round didn't really have anywhere else to go from, from there. There was no real plan B they could switch into. And once again, I mean, Wrinkle's just holding an angle. Oh! Missed opportunity for a second. That would have been perhaps a portal back into the round and into having a T side round to boast in overtime. Right now, bomb will be planted. CT smoke's going to be very useful. Spam is damaging. Jeez. Tessus and Nerds up against the world. Incendiary limits his contributions and the loss of Tessus. It's over. What can Nerds do? A Molotov's nice. Smoke available, though. And four to find. Yeah, too comfortable. That is perfect from the Ninjas in Pajamas. Three sequential CT rounds to start off OT in the first leg of OT. That's actually that's actually so sick from NIP. The recovery they've had, if you think towards back to regulation, it was what, 12-8 at one point, or 11-8, I should say, at one point? Uh, and then obviously rattling off three in a row in OT. Putting themselves in prime position, and their timeout is going to be taken as they switch sides in overtime. And while we swap sides and take a timeout, would you like to answer an IQtest.com question? Yes. Great. 27 minutes before 7 o'clock is 33 minutes past 5 o'clock. True or false? False. Thanks. <laughs> Time starts now. Um, yeah, well. The word mineral can be spelled using only the letters found in the word parliament. True. The sequence of four words, <laughs> triangle, glove, clock, bicycle, corresponds to this sequence of numbers. Three, five, twelve, two. True or false? Four words. Triangle, glove, clock, bicycle, corresponds to this sequence of numbers. Well, I three. would say... I'm not smart enough for that. Yeah, true. True. There are three corners on a triangle, five fingers on a glove. Yeah, but the clock one's confusing, because what if they mean the, the clock, the arm clock? 12 the hours clock on a the clock. Arm. Yeah, I don't know. I think that's all nonsense oh, anyway. Oh, listen, listen, do whatever the fuck you want. The all, only thing we need to worry about, or not to worry about, think about, is that there is... That there is... Okay, oh, just... Oh, suspense, that's what there is. Yeah, do whatever you want, but remember. And we will remember. <laughs> Tessus commits to his spray, does see Rez get across. Mid control for Max. Can they end it here cleanly? I mean, and already losing Wrinkle, your top fragger is going to make this round difficult. And yeah, it looks like they're almost destined to head towards this B site, considering where they currently find themselves. A bit of mid space short. Oh, and Dexter with a missed shot. Had an opportunity, a hard one, sure. Max will get to live another life. Nade deep, flak damage. Now Rez starting to search over towards Cave. Tess is extremely committed. I don't love this for him. That's still good for one. Can he make it the double? No, and the trade is there. Heroic looking to respond. It's when you lose wrinkle without anything exchange at the start of this round. Like, you don't get any, like, mid-control off it. You just control B lane. The only thing we've got to... This is huge, actually. Has he gone across without being spotted? Well, the question is, is Heroic talking about this gap in their defense at the moment? Dexter's out at long with the AWP, so if it... Okay, he's going to be checking it intermittently. Oh, it still nails the cave player. Now Max has gotten across the line of sight. But look at that. Shush was already moving to acknowledge it. And then because the bomb's down. So Dexter would have seen that with the kill. 
And, uh, well... Ten seconds, He can take one, but he's not winning the round. No. You're dead, mate. Yeah. yeah. That would have been almost impossible. All right, well, uh, there we go. We keep on going. Two rounds of difference. Jason, how does this stack up to NIP versus Amcal? Oh, this uh, this does not stack up in any way. NIP versus Amcal, especially back at the uh, the qualifiers for Copenhagen, uh, that was it was unbelievable. Multiple overtimes. Overpass was still in the pool. As you know, that's a wonderful map to see plates slowly, like 45 rounds in a row. Oh, yeah. It's just so cool getting to see all the different looks of slow-paced rounds on overpass. Yeah, I know that you were very upset when overpass was removed from the map pool. Uh, I was heartbroken. So a VP. Not the same team without it. No. Here comes Alex. The Spaniard. Oh Dead. my god. Whoa, kicks in a test to activate there on the B defense, but hang on, with Max already taking mid, Shush is gone and Dexter having a race. Maxter versus oh. Dexter. Who is the star of the show? It might be Max. There's a missed shot oh, from Dexter. Oh, and he's all brought to 13 points of health. Missing, oh, no. missing. Absent on the milk cartons. Has anyone seen him? Dexter. Can't stop missing. That's a death slam for sure, right? That's that's the biggest death slam we've seen yet this event. It still might not be all over Red Rover. Max the spams away. What? How has Kixon dodged that? Has his Neo moment. Push through as Max the deals with the this looks like it's locked in. NIP to take the first map, their pick. And it's this time, it's Ancient, and it's theirs. They will convert. They take the first of the series. Do or die. Elimination match. And a map up. NIP one away from eliminating Heroic. can tell his players what to do, leave as little room for them to think yeah. and just do what he tells them. Well, here we go. We are off to the races. We've got a lot of action in towards the ramp. Tess says mowing them down. I think I might be already... Where's your silencer, bro? Oh, Wrinkle's oh. taking it off. Hang on. Oh, nice. <laughs> oh, now they know where you are. I oh, mean, totally there's no so reason strong. to not have the silencer. You're, they're, bait, they're baiting for yeah, you. Yeah, exactly. It doesn't make any sense. don't have a silencer. <laughs> like, don't you want it to conceal your position there's for as long as possible? no reason for that. Apart from style points, I suppose. Didn't get many of those unless they can make up for it now. It will be wrinkled to bring it back to a two versus two, but the round doesn't seem possible for Alex. And indeed, it will be heroic. Winning the pistol. Don't love to see that play. But he's still got two kills, I suppose. The two yes, best the two best players from that old heroic lineup get it done in the two V three at the very end. Yeah. You have to see it. You see that's like kinda that, that sounds like a hot take, but it actually maybe isn't. Sounds like a burn, but maybe yeah. isn't. Yeah, I, I don't know. I just don't like it. Like you're you're hiding there, like why not have the silencer? Because even if you know the first shot you shoot, they'll know where you are. It's kinda wild. Like, if you want to fight outside, whatever, you like the sound of it, with no silencer, <laughs> go like ahead. Even though statistically it's worse than with the silencer on. I think it's because he sees himself as the next big thing, the next big author. People who have done that historically as simple and yeah. policy. And policy yeah. Right, so he just wants to be part of that crew, wants to be infamous, you know? That's uh, great. I kind of like that. It's something, I Yeah, suppose. we all want to be something. Yeah. Harry wanted to be an astronaut when he was a kid. There was True. no way that was going to happen, though, was but there? But he's dyslexic. Yes. And you need That's glasses. That's what prevented it. Oh my... <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's true. I did want to be an astronaut it's before true. I am hot. dyslexic. <laughs> and, 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 uh, yeah, I'm dyslexic. You could still be an astronaut, I suppose. It's not out of the question. He could be the guy that mops up the space station. I suppose that's still Mops quite a the, space station. <laughs> the janitor of the, uh, the International <laughs> Space Station. Yeah, I suppose there is that. Do they have those? I guess it needs to be clean. You just need the vacuum, really, right? A vacuum cleaner. I don't think there's much dust up there. Yeah, but everything floats. That was the like, you just need to suck stuff oh, in. There's no okay. mopping actually okay. the surfaces. All right. I see. Well, this is fun already. Yeah, but I think I think in space it's not really like a BYOB type situation, <laughs> like a bring your own vacuum. There's actually there's already one up there. And in 30 oh, years yes. it will be available to everyone. That's how those things happen. 
That's how Teflon got invented. First used for military purposes. And now you make your eggs on it. It's true. <laughs> Where are we going Teflon. with it? Teflon. Ooh. All right. Everyone cool? I think we're all having a nice time thus far. We've I know you've had here. a good day, Harry. Uh, yeah, yeah, I've had uh, one, of the, one of the better days. A lot of excitement going on. Ooh, look at Alex. Can I get out with one more? You love that for him. Oh dear, but you don't love that. It's shush. Yeah, things going from bad to worse here. 3-0 looking likely unless Isaac has something to say about it. He's up the vents, got the AWP of Wrinkle in a prime position. Oh, and that's going to be the first round on the board. They're loving it. Yeah, good job. Nice retake. Two guns survive. First gun round under their belt. I think it's, I was a little bit surprised. I think everyone had M4s and the goal USP Queen the second round. That's a little bit risky because for the T's, it's not uncommon to, you know, with the Mac 10s, just call an upper rush or anything because you don't have all nades if you do that, right? It's hard to stop the rush without a, a full utility set, but they get away with one. Still a 2v2, right? So Heroic's gonna buy again. Got the Nerds MP7, the only player in the game using that abomination of a gun. But he likes it. Seems to make it work. Making his way towards main roof here. He's going fast. Oh, bro, he's about to All do... All gas, no brakes. And it will be rest to take him down. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't really work out. Still, you know, there was certainly an idea there. Not an idea that worked. Not necessarily. Oh, shush. Not like that. All right, this round's still on, though. It's SS. And they've got the bomb down towards lower. No CD presence in whatsoever. And uh, it's going to be a free plant. Look at the retake utility, though. Should be fine for the CTs. All right, big chill. Nerds is not worried. No. Full faith that they're going to walk this one over the line. Let's see when he gets excited. That's when we're going to escalate. Like, if he sits up at all, we really kick this into overdrive. But, oh, oh, he's not happy. Oh, oh not head happy shake. That. Head shake Come there. on, lads. The judge is looking on. They're not a fan of what they just saw. Well, it didn't go well, necessarily. See, that guy's it's kind of struck up an interesting conversation about Teflon. I've noticed everyone's now talking about it. Yeah, you know, like, everything new, it's first used for military purposes, then they realize, okay, this isn't maybe as insane as we thought, so <laughs> we can give it to the civilians too, and I then they can true. make something cool out of it. Yeah. You know? what, are you, what are your favorite inventions? I guess the, the ballpoint pen came from NASA as well. Yeah. That was a huge Very upgrade Very helpful to until, you know, PCs and keyboards and everything. When yes, was the last true. time you used the pen, Harry? Oh. Well... Last night, maybe even. I think I was writing some stuff down. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Old school? Yeah, doing it the old-fashioned way. How did that feel? Pretty good, honestly. It feels yeah. under, right, under, underrated. Under, <laughs> underrated whenever you get to use on. All right, well, if you the, still use a pen, let us know in chat. The pen, mightier than the sword, famously, but that also went out of fashion. Yeah, swords kind of fell off about a decade ago. <laughs> No one really talking about them anymore. <laughs> I think that's fair to say. Not much of a hot take. Well, until we get to that oh. Dune time of the future, yes, exactly. right? It's that, all that coming back a huge full comeback. circle. Oh, for sure. As soon as the power stations are gone. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, it looks oh. pretty clean for Maxter. He's having a good day. Bloody hell. Nice shot from Tess. It kind of makes me believe he's going to win this whole round for Heroic. Nice red eye impression there. From who? <laughs> from Harry. Oh, what did he say? Bloody hell. Okay. Bloody hell. <laughs> oh! Bloody hell. Isaac. Ah, come on, Tess. That D girl here was lovely. Give us some more of that. But it's none. So the chat is saying they prefer the Penjamin. What does that mean? The what? The Penjamin. What's Penjamin? I don't know. I'm trying to work it out. I've never heard of that expression. They, they use the Benjamin over a pen. I don't know what that means. 
Guys, what does a penjamin mean? <laughs> yes, I know what it means, <laughs> producer. <laughs> I was seeing if anyone would react to it. Play along. Do know what it means. Just thought it was it was quite funny for chat. I like that. Quite funny for chat. This for one's chat, for you, chat. That was pretty funny. I enjoyed that. Swords are kind of cringe now, is another comment coming through. Yeah, it's true. Fair. Kind of don't really have a place. They had their day. They did. Had their chance, their Kinda opportunity. Like the skinny jean of the modern day. Well, dude, skinny jeans will come back eventually. You well, know they that. will, but... It's cyclical. Everything in fashion is. Give it five years, they'll be back. You'll be back in your skinny jeans, Harry. Yeah, we can all be wearing our skinny jeans together. <laughs> it's a skinny jeans summer. Next Pro League. And go to the drive-in movies. Oh, that, that actually would be sick. Benjamin Danklin is in the chat. <laughs> <laughs> Who's that? Benjamin Danklin! <laughs> <laughs> oh, that Molly missed. Oh no, it's, it went down, okay. Wrinkles are in a pretty good spot here. Easy kill. And now... The jig is up. What, what was the jig? <laughs> Faking a secret and oh. popping ramp like sending one guy down secret. Oh, Isaac's ready now for it. Now okay. Presumably now they he have knows. to ramp. Bang. Jig oh. deleted. Well. Bear in mind, guys. We do have the opportunity to talk to NIP by the looks of things. After yeah. this game, we're doing a mailbag interview. And yeah. Harry, how would they get involved in said okay. mailbag? So if you have any questions, and we're assuming right now this is if Nip wins. Because if I think Heroic win. win this map, it goes to a third. Yeah, I so don't, we I have more time to block plug in NIP it. now. But if you have any questions for Nip, get him in at EPL EPL mailbag. That's EPL EFG dot G G M A I L at A T E F G dot D O T G G. <laughs> Why are you just <laughs> the pronunciation? Just to make sure we get it out there cleanly. But yeah, any questions you got, we will read them out. I've Literally, got the mailbag up yeah. here. I'm Literally cherry picking anything. the best ones. Yeah, anything we'll, we'll, we'll do. We're trying to make this new idea. But it's kind of in your hands, everyone. Yeah, it might not come back yeah. if we mess this one up. Don't make this a, this is why we can't have nice things situation. Yeah, anything like that. You can, you know, you can ask something a little weird. Not too weird. But not like, not incredibly weird, where no one would feel comfortable answering. Uh, the bar like, is, why is Rez still on the team? Don't ask that. No, don't ask that. That would be a very aggressive question to come in on. So, Rez, why are you still <laughs> <laughs> That's not... Don't shoot the messenger here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> just this is, like, Isaac's gonna ace. He just has to get to secret somehow. Go on, Isaac, go to secret. You won't. He's been on the team for eight, seven years now. Eight, seven that, years. That's like the only guy who's probably longer on a lineup is Rain on phase. Yeah. I mean, he was there during the famous Oakland run of old. He Which was one? there 10,000 years 10, ago. 10,000 years ago. Yeah, famously. The sun only just stopped being a deadly laser. And then Rain, uh, rain Rez, rather, <laughs> sprouted up out of the ocean. Wearing a nip jersey. Wrinkle, don't steal the ace, bro. Oh, he didn't. Rez, Rez did. did. Rez did. All right. Bit of a timeout. I think we all need it. Heroic. They've got some cash. They've got some ideas, some concepts, but NIP have put up a bit of a wall here defensively. Yeah, they tried to play a little bit more loose, you know, Nurse jumping down, uh, Mini, like all guys going for individual plays at almost the same time, trying to find the gaps, that got shut down. Then we saw the slower round, trying to get the player down secret, and then split B, that got shut down. So, you know, we, not a, it could be a decent call to... Uh, because yes, after time... Ramp, 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 Go down, go down, Fred. How is it, Fred? Nice, Isaac. Nice, Isaac. Nice. One more, nice, one, more. one more smoky, one smoky, Alex. Nice, Isaac. Oh my God.
Oh, that was pretty hype. Nice e-suck. How are we? Hello. How we doing? We're doing good. Yeah, we're, we're duo observing. I'm, I'm heroic. Look at Chef. Chef's tea. Uh, Chef's I've nip. never seen him this uncomfortable uh, this in his life. <laughs> we're good. Ooh. Who do I have left? You couldn't no find one. two chairs? Six, six. Six? Yeah. Thank you, Chef. We're doing it together. He's holding my hand. I'm holding uh, his chair. Well, so one of you's doing the numbers, or you just like well, the numbers? The numbers. Other I'm hand. heroic. Okay. And Chev is nip. Oh, I see. That's quite nice. This could be the future of observing. Mm -hmm. I certainly I mean, hope not. Twice the brain power. Oh, now the this side. Nice. Have a look at this. Nerds. Nerds. Of course. And Going through hot here. No, I think now Rez take one more kill. Yeah. You reckon? Okay. Yeah. I like this. I actually like that we're getting a hit from Chev. Oh dear. This could be one of the more significant rounds yep. now. Let's hope we don't miss any of the action. <laughs> oh, and off they Mama, go. I'm on TV. <laughs> if you guys don't like this and you want to control it, you can actually use Face It Watch as well. So you can watch whatever POV you want. Okay. Think about it. It's a the, plug. I like it. I think the, the observing is actually really good if you just let the man work in peace. <laughs> <laughs> you can also do that on Face It Watch, by the way. Looks like there's no Last chance. second, maybe? GG. Nah. GG, <laughs> GG everyone. Sorry, Chev. I'll, I'll leave you now. Bye. Thank you, Mac. Always good to check in. I've never seen Chev. I've never seen Chev. <laughs> <laughs> have, to, have to just even sit that close to another human being before. Yeah. Well. Oh, that was good. We should show off Chev more often. No, not really. No. Yeah, he prefers to lurk in the shadows. Fair enough. Do his job. He's not like Rush, you know, trying to be this personality and... Influencer of Influencer of Counter-Strike, Counter yeah, he's right? kind of Rush's become a bit of an influencer. Make everything about him, right? Shavit just does the work, you know, keeps his head down. That's what you love to see, Puts really. in the hours. If only we had more guys like Shav. The world would be a better place, Harry. Yeah. It's a fair point, honestly. There's not really much else Can't you argue can say with to it. that, yeah. That's fair enough. We'll allow it. The big love to Chev one time as who won that last round. I was so kind of caught Heroic. up in the moment. Heroic. Get there first since the pistol round, everyone. Now they pop, hey. Yeah, now, now they're they right do back the A in. pop, right? Here it comes. They are setting up a wall of smokes, to be fair, but it could be a ruse. Tess says, leaving the charge outside. Trying it down secret. Oh my what? god, Whoa. wrinkle that is one <laughs> hell of a maneuver. <laughs> You don't see many moves like that. It works out for him. Extinguishes the molly on the huts. Jumps down to Squeaky. Takes care of Shush and he's still alive and well. Tessa sneaking through to smoke, however. Looking to bring it back to a 4-4. Four four. It's going to be Dexter to strike first, but Rez continues to frag nerds on the lurk. I think he's got a bit of a timing here. This could work out quite nicely. Yeah, he's, he's really thread the needle on this one. They've got no idea. Well, we communicated, presumably, that there was but a gap. He's coming from behind, but Wrinkle is also pushing outside, so who'll get there first? Seems like Nerds gets Isaac. You couldn't do that to a Wombat, but <laughs> to Isaac, yes, indeed. Sorry, what's that about a Wombat? You, you, you can't get them from behind. Oh, no, okay. it's true. Yeah, so that yeah, is true. Look it up. Stuff. Look it up. He's right. And Nerds and Kicksam working in tandem here. The round is complete. The backstab is successful. And there's nothing that can be done. Wrinkle will have to save the AWP. So with the Wombat thing, okay, yeah. just to clarify here. What's the law? What it was that it had, uh, maybe I'm using the wrong word, was it cartilage? Yes. In, within in its, its hide. They, they have incredibly thick cartilage in the back. Like where the bum is. Yes. Okay, yeah. Exactly. So <laughs> what they do is when a predator attacks them, right? Like they start digging a hole like yeah. somewhere so they can fit. And then it's only their cartilage that sticks out. And then yeah. if the predator still attacks them, they can actually kill the pr predator by, you know, twerking the cartilage right. into the ground. So they have to build a hole, get inside it as like bait. Yes. And then just crush the skull of the, the predator. Bloody hell, yeah. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. that's what yeah. they're doing. 
Um, it's with a the fair, twerk. fair assessment of the situation. All right, well, it's it's facts. I, I don't think Yanko would come on here and lie. We'll have to take his word we for it. We saw it in a video. I know. You're and right. They did say it in a video. <laughs> it was very <laughs> gruesome, you know? <laughs> the video is animated spectacularly. I have a completely different perspective on twerking now. <laughs> Isaac! Oh, there it is! Mowing them down! Respect to Isaac! 11 and 4, ramp is his domain. That's one of your catchphrases, isn't it? Respect to Isaac? Yeah, yeah. Okay, is it, is it catching on? Everyone's loving it. Everyone's talking whenever, about it. Whenever you talk about Isaac, you've got to respect, respect Isaac. Isaac. I think I do. I'm on board. If, you, if you'd like to respect Isaac, put that in chat, as we do see Shushin kicks and answer back. Back to the three on three, comes down to Alex really, and he gets nothing. Eviscerated by Shush. Well, this has gone quite pear shaped all of a sudden. I'll tell you why after the round. Okay. <laughs> Stay tuned. I, I don't want to ru <laughs> ruin the. Stay tuned for that. The, you know, intensity. Rez now. Ooh, too late for that. Fighting back. <laughs> Wrinkles got the timing, uh, and that's going to be the bomb dropped. 40 seconds remain. Kickstand with it all to do. AWP Ooh, oh, oversteps the mark a little bit. Had a nice angle. Let's him back into the round. Advantage potentially to Kickstand here with Rez. Unsure as to where he'll finish up. Looks like he's going to try and make his way down the vents. Will he be allowed to do so? Oh, he's yeah, seen off him. He goes. Smoke down. Goodbye. Down through the vent. It, uh, Go on. Kicks that, makes it down lower with the bob. Now Rez is giving chase. I like that. Buys himself a few more seconds, extinguishes the molly, runs right through. Such a hard retake. Kicks that just has to nail this. The AK beats the M4 here. Just don't mess it up, and he won't. Kicks that holds on, and even sends them off with a little wave. Why the wave? A lot of waving. What's the this wave game? achieve? All right, so here's the thing. Isaac gets two kills, right? Yeah. They're pushing through the smoke. They're trying to surprise him. He's there. He gets two kills. Then he pushes through his own smoke to go yep. deep into radio. How did that because go he him? feels he has timing, you know, like, oh, they won't expect this. Is that really necessary, Harry, in a 5v3? Arguably, no. Right? Arguably, it's not. Or for one guy to play in hut on his own, you can't be side shoulder peeking, you know? Try to get some info where the remaining players are. You're right. You're onto something there. It's like that, that's the problem. Is sometimes, and I don't want to, you know, be too big of a asshole here, right? But it's something you just have to. Every time, as a player, at every moment, the thought that should be going be at the back of your head is, what is the best thing I can do for my team to win the round? Play the percentage. Right. Not not like me. The best play for me at this moment to get a kill or to do this or to do that. Yeah. It's like, what does the team need at this moment? I got two kills, something's happening outside, maybe they're using some nades, okay. Like, we, we're getting information, we have the advantages. Like, at every moment that should be the case. It's, it's easy to get pulled by, oh, the timing here, or this micro situation where you're at, but you need to constantly think big picture, big picture, because things can fall apart very quickly. All these guys on the server are really good. Really good mechanically, right? You know, they can win unfavorable fights, all of this stuff. So when you do get an advantage, don't throw it away. Hold on to it, Harry. Yeah. Like a wombat does to a hole. <laughs> it's it's a such a good counter-strike point, and then it just gets closed out like that. It's brilliant. Heroic. Right now. They yeah. kind of, they kind of are the one, but you thought you had them backed into a corner. You thought you had the advantage, but now they're, they're smashing your head into the ceiling of a hole. I mean, what's crazy here is it was 5-2 for are. NIP. Heroic wins three gun rounds in a row and NIP still has money to buy. Like that's how dominant their rounds were on CT side. You, you don't see that almost ever nowadays. So they still have an opportunity here. Oh dear. Another push in towards that trophy room. 5v4, he's on his own. It's not gone well. Same position for Maxter, where they got blasted before by Shush. It's going to be kicks and up to the plate this time. Who wins the duel? This time it will be NIP. All right, the full commitment towards Upper, however. Awkward fights for Shush. NIP running away with this one. Nerds 
Nothing to do, nothing to say about it. Ten seconds remaining, not going to go for the plant by the looks of things. No, not even going to give it a look in. They don't even, they didn't even know he went down. <laughs> So he could have easily gotten a I guess you know, he, maybe to, he can drop next round. Regardless, he's got 3,200. He's got an AK now. It's probably the right decision. It all works out. But I don't know. It, it was this like the play, like Rez pushes ramp, and he's the A player, sort of. So if he dies, maybe they'll then go away. But I, <laughs> it's hard to wrap my head around this one exactly. If he wanted to lure them <clears throat> into going A, maybe. Final round of the half. You guys had a good time so far? Pretty pretty good. Yeah. I, I want to see a bit more. Okay. You know, kind of everything. A bit more razzle uh, you dazzle. Know, just a bit more flair on it. Okay. You know, a bit more sauce. Okay, I'll see what I can do in half time. I'll go speak to the teams. Okay, yeah. So, yeah. lads, um, just a quick one. I know you've got a whole game situation going on here. It's a request from Just Harry. Oh, man. Heroic. They might split the half here. A low buy as they headed into this round. They've broken through the top site defense and Tessez closes it clean. So Heroic managed that sick to tie us up on Nuke. Whoop whoop. Flash, flash. Wanna have it? Evan, dead, Evan, dead, 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 dead,
Cast event, cast event, event. Cast event. I'm dead, thank you. I have event. Abdul, carry the door. Dead, off it. Nice! Good job. Nice, nice. Nice, nice. Wait. Well, there we have it. Welcome back to the big fixture. We're the fun bunch, and we're bringing you Heroic versus NIP. Second map here. And guess what, boys? We split it right down the middle. NIP now going over the T side, looking to close this one out. But Heroic winning that low buy towards the end of the first half has given them a fighting chance. Yeah. That's kind of all I got for you. Yeah, man. no, that, that's no, 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 no. That's good, man. Kind of a good summary that of the situation. Good, I would say it's a fair summary. <laughs> Opening kill, though, for Heroic. <laughs> what does that mean? Is the round already over? No, not necessarily. Not in all senses of the word, but in some, yes. <laughs> Tessas holding towards the ramp. We've got Nerds fighting towards Squeaky. There's a Molotov, there's a smoke. They've been deployed. Molotov's in towards that hub. And in they go for the squeaky door. Down the vent. Ooh. This is actually getting a little bit more interesting now, especially with these couple of kills not quite converting the second. It's going to be Tessis to find what should secure the round for them. Bomb planted. They'll be able to purchase up in the next round regardless, but the Glock's still oh fighting back here. Oh. The Jewelies should have done enough. The defuse is being committed already. Alex will have to do no way. something unbelievable here. Five, four, three, two. Oh, 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 oh no! Yeah. That was nearly awesome, but in the end, just kind of sad, but it's close. Nonetheless. It was a good try. Wait, Alex was running out of bullets there? Yes. Why didn't he reload while he was running? <laughs> These are the questions. <laughs> what? Definitely had a chance to win that one. Oh, it's so look, stuck door in the stuck, door as door well. Stuck. Oh, yeah. oh, he's actually stuck in the door. It's so awkward. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, that one, that sting. Oh, at least they're having fun. They're not even forced buying at the second. They're going to be taking the eco here. They're going for the strong buy on the third. Should be a bit of a walk in the park now for Heroic. One would think. But there's no way of knowing for sure. I don't mind this, really. I mean, yeah, the second round... Losing the second round, the CT after win pistol is the worst way to go. But if you're not confident, if you're NIP, you know that you have a really good round that, that, that you want to do, it's fine to also just equal. They'll have AKs and full utility the following round, right? You can see Heroic has to rebuy all their utility. There's two MP9s in there, so they'll have a, an advantage in the next round. No, but they won't have anything in this one. And they even got like one kill, so... If they win this round, Heroic will still have to eco or have a, you know, not great force buy unless they do a lot of saving. Why are you smirking, Henry? Because I'm did trying to see how awkward it can get with the silence. I wasn't going to break did, it. Did Dexter, did, he showed the op now, right? Yeah, he did. Yeah, yeah. All right, so that's important information for NIP. Rink only has an HE, so probably something quick here. I can't yes. to the yard. Oh yeah. But that AWP is going to find itself over towards hell, so I need smokes if you want to try and get past it. they down. There's that AWP playing up around the AC vent. They're trying to blow the smokes open. And that's Rez caught out on an island all alone there. That could complicate things. Thanks to his AWP behind the aircon units. Allowing Wrinkle to cross over for now. And that's going to be a very difficult duel for Alex. Finds himself in a difficult spot. But Max will get the trade. This next kill could decide the round. Wrinkle comes the breaks in towards that warehouse. Sub one minute now, but the bomb is being planted. My oh my, Wrinkle's been owned by the timings. And Kixan will give the man advantage. This retakes on. Couple of flashes. Both players on the bomb side floor. It's going to be a difficult one to fend off. Isaac just stopped watching the lobby too as this push was coming in. So yeah, Max, there is no idea they're already in the hut. It's a good retake for Heroic. Even trying to buy the time to go get that AWP. Get out of the round with everything. So this is a good uh, CT side opener here for Heroic.
I don't know if I missed Wrinkle, like, buying a smoke and then dropping it to someone, but as they were running out of smoke, was spawn, he only had an HE and still had 700 left in the bank, so... Don't really see if you're not doing something, like, you're the first guy running in and you just need to blow open door and run in. Yeah, it makes sense, but otherwise, you know, you never know that extra molly, if it could be really useful for something. But again, we go into the buy round. Not as good of a buy for NAP this time around. No, not at all. Galil's out in threes. Still a pretty powerful gun in CS2 for some reason. Oh, not far off for Dexter there. A couple of shots whistle by. But it looks like they are going to make it across safely. No, it's might give it one more spam. But Church is playing the block here as soon as he spots a pixel. Deploy that incendiary, but he thinks better of it. Not the fullback now. Still the same result. Eyes in five seconds to reposition, get a rotation going. The fact he doesn't go on the stairs means he is, has to fight there. He has to fight for that control being in the vent. And so that kill's given over. NIP get control of lower. Tessas moves in from the ramp side. He's got support with him in the form of nerds. And they're going to try and get ahead of this. But the defense is like very strung out across the map here. Two down at lower, two leaning over towards the upper side. At least kicks and catches Alex on the cross. They actually try to commit into this lower side of the map, and everyone from Heroic is now here. They spot the AWP as well. Rez knows that both players are inside of the site. 1v2 that he's now got to embark upon, and it's got to start with this AWP, which he won't even make a dent on. Dexter's on the angle, and so Heroic are very, very quickly running away with this CT half. Yeah. That's four in a row. And I've been already getting close to these last few. I think the problem is this last round, why don't they speed up once they kill Shush? I mean, they kill him pretty quick um, down at Vance. And they still had some utility, I think, whether it's to just smoke the cross from Decon or something, you know, just put pressure. They slowed down for not really much reason at all. They had yeah. vent control, when and that allowed two players to go down B. Even Dexter was ramped, and he moved towards B as the third player. When they slowed, I thought it was like they were going to try and search somewhere else in amidst that. Like, they have the vent control right to, like, potentially rotate up A. I thought maybe that's why they're, they're slowing down. But it ended up being, like, a slow into the recommit to B. Bro, I have, a, I have oh. an idea for a force buyer. Like, a half buy. Yep. Uh, Max, can you... Oh, okay. We don't okay. get to know. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, yeah. But we know they have an idea. They have an there's, idea. Let's see what it is. There's a concept here. Let's humor them. An execution towards upper, potentially. They're going to try and get down the vents with the lurk smoke. Right towards silo as well, but being blocked off for now. When are they going to pull the trigger? They still have four smokes. I think they're trying to bleed out a bit of utility for now. Trying to see if they can provoke any sort of reaction. Oh, down he goes. Nerds, though. Very aware of it. But maxed up, has slipped the net for now. Part one successful. Do you think they're trying to cause some rotation down towards lower, then they'll go in through main? Potentially, or they're just going to commit down towards lower, straight up, knowing he's got the vent rotation? Looks like they just want to go down, but your idea was pretty oh. good. Okay. Uh, Don't see that too often. Oh, oh no. God. <laughs> Dexter! <laughs> it's getting a bit messy out there, boys. Okay, Shush is trying to re regain some c control over this situation. No CT presence down. Oh, oh boys. my god. Okay, okay they fumbled right. it a little god, bit. These, it should be fine. Should be fine. horrible. Should be f oh, god. Okay. No, maybe not fine. Gone wrong. Gone horribly wrong. Nice idea. Didn't quite stick the landing. The missed smoke was the final nail in the coffin there. In a way, kind of everyone loses. Ugh. The only kill was a team kill. <laughs> Except for Heroic. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I like the idea, though. Can't argue with that. Part one was beautiful. And I think and I, the call cool was, we'll do the outside smokes, wait for Dex did it. <laughs> <laughs> team kill. <laughs> yeah. I know there'll be some people who will be saying, oh, why are they coming up with stuff on the spot? Shouldn't they have, like, a round for this situation? I, I don't really mind that. Yeah, ideally, you would have a playbook deep or wide enough for every single thing, but sometimes maybe you see something in a game that you just don't have in your playbook and you need to change yeah. something a little bit around. Like It'll be like a variation of something yeah. you've already got, right? Ooh. That's that was quite quick. Kind of, yeah, Wrinkle's known for these sort of plays. 
Tries to get stuck in. This time it doesn't necessarily work out, though. Maxter does find some success towards the round. We're 11 6. They were playing for map points. Heroic trying to take us to a third. Maxter makes the first incision. Though. Bear in mind, NIP have not picked up a round on their T side campaign as of yet. They've come close a few times, but see if they can convert the first advantage they've had in a while. I don't mind that play from Tessis. You know, it's a 5v5. They're up uh, by a lot, so. He has room to make that aggressive play. Wasn't really doing much on ramp. Could have caught someone off guard. So it's not the same like the Isaac one. Yeah, Harry. yeah, yeah. I'm not an NIP hater. It's different. Were you ever an NIP hater? Yeah, definitely. Okay. For, for a long time. But this era, this <laughs> version. <laughs> this one you love. Loves the team, loves the, the culture. It's the best one in a long time. That's fair. Definitely. I've been about five years or something. Oh, shush! They oh, line up yeah. for him! And now it's just Isaac! But do they respect the Isaac? It doesn't look like it as they run him down, splitting upon him as the last man standing, heroic. Onto map point now. And that's a round again where they play from the man down off the top. Yeah, I mean, it's true. It's just sloppy for NIP, like some of the mid-round stuff, like more basic aspects, right? Like, I mean, you have two guys looking the same way. No one's covering the con. Um, probably a bit too chaotic in the comms. Both players trying to do the same thing. We had that mid-round a couple of rounds earlier that was also um, a little bit sloppy. So trying to find their footing on Nuke, not going well so far on the T side. That's fair. 6-0. <laughs> 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 it's gone wrong. Could have been a better T side. Could have been a better T be side. To be fair. Yeah, I feel like um, <laughs> yeah. this, this is get it over with, shall we? Let's just move yeah. on. What's the third map? Harry will tell you. Yeah, I will. Of course. We all know it. We all know what the third map is. Big reveal. It's Anubis. Oh, all right. Mac works. will step in. <laughs> <laughs> Anubis hater. Not a fan. Not a fan. Not a hater, but not a fan. Okay. All right, NIP, have you got anything for us? After a great first map, went the distance. Now unable to post a single round. Here on the T side, Rez, can you get anything done? Can you find an opening? Good timing here. And he actually yeah. does find a headshot. Needs a couple more, though. Alex delivers the goods now. Down but not out. NIP fighting back here. But here comes Dexter. Aggressive, of course. Gets himself a couple with the AWP. Now it will be blocked off towards main entrance. This retake is possible, but unlikely. Tess will have to do something heroic, if you don't mind me saying, from the heavens. They shouldn't go for this. They should probably just try to maybe get a kill or two. You know, position themselves so they kill the NIP players falling back. But... That isn't necessary. You know, you only need one round. Doesn't have to be the 2v3 retake on the A-bomb side, Henry. Doesn't have to Henry. be that. No, it doesn't have to be that one. That'd be a good way to throw this game away. Dismantle the economy, which is not looking too great on a few players. Dexter still has around $8,000, so they are fine. I'll have a full setup next round. AK and Wrinkle does go down as well. Okay, they recover the orb. Nice work, Max. Uh, that would have been a problem. That would be his nickname, Harry. What? The Collector. The Collector. That's actually kind of epic. Actually, that's way too cool for him because yeah. I just realized it can sound like he came to collect. Yeah, exactly. Like you know. He's like the kind of like debt collector. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. I, think I meant more like, oh, he picks up the guns for his teammates. <laughs> it's, it's more like... The like courier? The, like, the, yeah, like the janitor. Like he's like tidying up <laughs> the map after the row. You're the janitor. Yeah, I guess I am the janitor. At the ISS. Yeah, business is booming right now. Is this a... Does it all come crashing down here? Nerds in a combative position, but Rez has been opening up these rounds in the last couple. Max is down the vents already. This might be over, but unless Dexter can fight back. Does find Wrinkle. It would have to be a very clean kill down the vents here. I don't think they can really do much. Tess will have to step up. He's alone, isolated, surrounded, but no one's checking for him. It's going to be a good trade, though. We'll take that. Oh, 
Isaac out in the open, and the bomb away from NIP. Oh. Maxter's going to deal with that all, but he's going to go. follow up. Maxter with two. Is that enough? Ooh. It's not. Heroic cut him down. And so Heroic will recover. Another man down round to close as they pick up Nuke pretty handedly. 13 to 7. Anubis now waiting as our third. Getting to end, it's good. Woohoo! We're not heavy at all. Woohoo! When I smoke off the air wall. <laughs> oh, little push in <laughs> through main. And it's quickly gone wrong. For NIP. Yeah, want to get in the mailbag? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Also, by the way, speaking of mailbags. Go on. You can submit questions for the winner. How, though? Of this series for how us to ask them on the sofa okay, how do later I do on. Mm. You would send an email okay. through various Electronic providers. mail, I believe. Yeah, electronic mail. Yeah. To EPL mailbag uh, at yep. EFG yep. dot GG. That's D-O-T. GG. At the end there. G-E-E. -E. G -E -E. Okay, I've got some questions here. Harry, there's a lot of questions for you. Why are you so popular in the mailbag? Don't know. Because he's always here. Here's one for you. That's, this one's for Harry. How are you, Harry? How are you? Today? I'm doing great. Yeah. I'm having a really good day, boys. Beautiful. That's from Spaghetti Kink. From who? Spaghetti uh, King. Spaghetti oh, King submitted enough. the other day. That's a that's a recurring name. Dude, actually, I think I have a Spaghetti King. Um, <laughs> please ask Harry to say bottle of water How in the most British accent possible. Bottle of water. That's it. Bottle of water. There that's how I do there. it. That's how I, when, whenever I really want to parody it, you just go, bottle of water. Bottle of water. Okay, that's really funny, actually. I want Fair the bottle of water. Let's do it. Are they going to say it? Let's do it. Say Let's it. do it. Let's do it. Let's Yo, do it. No, they're getting musical too. Bottle of water. Bottle of water. Bottle it's kind of like uh, the. Go bow, on. Uh, the, the. Come on, you got this. By yellow. <laughs> what? You what? know. <laughs> what? Bow wow wow. Like. <laughs> Yippee yo EPA. No, the only song I can think of by Yellow right now is Rubber Band Man, which is a great song if you ain't heard it. Day Bow Bow. It's like an always sunny. <laughs> I'm just saying things, man. Do you guys understand the point I'm trying to make here? <laughs> I don't know where you're going with this. A lot of emails Day about bow, the whole bow. Benjamin discussion. Yeah. Um, it's not the people are suggesting it's not quite the meaning we've gone for. It's a completely different thing altogether, actually. It seems oh, yeah. more, more herbal. I saw a reference to Ohio. Yeah, yeah, I think it's about, I think it's something to do with Ohio. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I can really gather from the email. Originates from Ohio. Uh, if you know more, please, please write in. Let us know more about uh, Ohio. Okay, you get, to go, you get to go anywhere in Ohio for 24 hours. Where are you going? Um, okay, good question, actually. Haven't been asked this for years. <laughs> Oh, I got so, yeah, where would you go? Go on. No, I was just going to say there's a question directly for you down towards the bottom. For me? Yeah. That one. Hello, I'm looking for Henry's jeans. Where can I buy Henry's jeans? I've been looking for Henry's jeans since I can remember Henry G speaking of Henry's jeans, and I thought to myself, wow, Henry G makes, really, makes me really want to purchase a pair of Henry's jeans. Appreciate it, and thank you, Henry G's parents, for Henry G Henry's jeans. <laughs> <laughs> okay, a lot going on there. Where do you buy your jeans? Levis? Uh, Levis usually is my go-to. Levis? Um, if they're yeah. in stock, yeah. Uh, Levi's? No, it's pronounced Levis. In what? Europe, in Europe, we do Levis. Yeah, we do say Levis. You know, like yeah. Nike and Nike. In Europe, we do Levis. Am what I being you... fucked with? No, no. Like, what do you guys say in Australia? Levi's. Oh, I think because what the apostrophe probably throws you off. Yes. Yeah, that's more of like a throws branding. you off. That was more like a branding decision they made. So it's like in Europe, it's Levis. Like, yeah. bring it up on the PC, Harry. I don't okay, believe wait. this. I don't believe this at all. No, bring it up. Now, do you know like Nike and Nike? It's like <laughs> yeah. colloquial, right? No, there it is, Levis. <laughs> Levis. <laughs> I've never heard anyone. In call Europe, it we that. don't have the apostrophe. <laughs> On another note, you should uh, talk about those basement dweller uh, individuals and get your own signature jeans. Oh, that's nice of you. Sorted. Yeah, 
That's true. We got a shout out to Machine's Basement Dweller range, and maybe I should speak to the designer. I do know him somewhat. Could get my own. <laughs> uh, he's aware, I'm aware of him. Jeans, jeans, genie jeans. Well, as the first buy round is. Oh, hello. Voice is very pitchy there from the offset. Let's go back. <clears throat> the first buy round has just come out for NIP. And Alex is going to try a Mac 10 entry to get past Nerds, but of course that ain't going to work. Tess says, able to hold on towards. No, 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 actually, in fact, not able to hold on is what I meant to say. Yeah. As NIP look to have cooked up some gold in this first rifle round. Oh, but all things gold turn to but rust and ash eventually. Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> Not factually true. Don't look into metals. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> did, I not, did I not cover? Did I come through the broadcast? <laughs> <laughs> I, I thought I was. <laughs> I'm not good, apparently. No. To answer your question, that wasn't supposed to be brought out on air. I was just loving the alchemy chat. That was uh, going a different direction than what I thought we'd go today. Harry, how's your knowledge on precious metals? Pretty good. Yeah. I would say. It depends what are precious to you, though. I think it's more of a subjective. That's so true. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I know a lot about some of the metals. Okay. Which which ones in particular? Aluminum. <laughs> aluminum. Oh, it's probably his uh, favorite. You mean right? aluminum? No. In Europe, we say uh, aluminum. <laughs> What do, you, what do you guys say? It's just... <laughs> aluminum. Do you like aluminum? Do you like aluminum? Because I certainly do. Very lightweight metal, I believe, Harry, if I'm not mistaken. It is. Yeah. It's frequently made into foil. <laughs> and it, I believe it's magnetic as well, right? It's got all the properties you want from a good metal. Mm -hmm. Very light. Very mostly, light. Mostly durable, but a little, a little pliable. A little pliable. Yeah. Who's meant to be the one coming out of the facts here, yeah, man? No, I'm meant well, to. You guys are kind for of you, leading kind the of charge like, on this. Well, I feel like you've said all there is to say about aluminum. What about uh, how conductive is it? Reasonably. Reasonably. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. At a reasonable amount. Okay. Depends what you're on about, heat or electricity, we'll be honest. To be fair. To be fair. A little bit different. Wrinkle going to try his hand at the opener here. Okay, There's yeah, no eye in team. And there also isn't one in Wrinkle either. It's a one, and that's because he's looking for one kill right here. That all posted, but not given a fight early. A bit of a head scratcher for Wrinkle as they've blocked him out at the opener he was looking for. That forces Wrinkle to look elsewhere. Scoped up, Cyclops mode engaged. Kind of bringing that Tarunga Leela vibe to this round is Wrinkle. Right, a bit of controversy in the chat right now. Apparently, <laughs> aluminum is not magnetic. No, I didn't think it would be. But you didn't say anything at the time? I just let it ride, you know? Okay, I felt like you enough. guys were throwing out facts on a topic you know nothing about. And so just <laughs> let you get away with it. Why would it be magnetic? You wouldn't use it as foil. Because then when you were putting the magnets in the oven, it would, they, would, <laughs> they would go everywhere. What? I didn't consider that. Yeah, he's got a good point. You're cooking magnets. He's cooking something. Like this round's over though. No real chaotic, reason to cast it. Really chaotic is day at the uh, at the doctors. You eat a hundred balls of aluminum foil <laughs> and then go for an MRI. Yeah, uh, <laughs> <laughs> you'd be fine actually. Yeah, right? you would be. You'd be, be fine. <laughs> you actually would be. You wouldn't get thrown around the machine. No, it's just not. Well, I also want to say, not medical advice here. Yeah, uh, don't do that. Yeah, mm. don't actually do it. We're talking about it in jest as a joke. <laughs> Titanium is the goat metal, apparently. Which is a hot take. Do you guys get around the mangas? Yes. Wait, what? Yep. What did you say? Do you go mangas. around the mangas? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you take a magnesium yeah. pill every day, yeah. Harry. You don't take a magnesium pill every day? Dude, he don't need to. I think that's the one that, make, that can help you sleep. Yeah, it does. Yeah, I take it sometimes before bed. Bit of that, bit of zinc. It's good for your uh, muscles as well to try and... You know, get rid of the DOMs. I'd say like a multivitamin. Do you know what that is? <laughs> <laughs> I'd take a multivitamin. 
<laughs> Damon. Yes. I, I think that's it. God's. I know what I'm saying. That's how we say it. In Europe, this is how European say words. Multivitamin. Multivitamin. Oh, wrinkle. He's on the vitamins! Wait, that's not how we say it. That's not how we say it. <laughs> He's on the vitamins! <laughs> and now Tess says aggressive had to remain. Given but Isaac here D. needs respecting. And Tess says bows down. Respect to Isaac. They should have learned their lesson a long time ago. Um, question here, can you put aluminum in the microwave? I wouldn't. Okay. No. Don't do that. Don't put no. any metals in there, I would say. Mm-hmm. Don't do it. Can you put an egg in a microwave? Yes. As Shoot. long as you crack it first, mm. inside the microwave directly, turn it on full blast, good to go. If you're ever on some, like... Hang on, but let's see if Kicksam wins this, because I got a good... Got a good feeling about De Dexter in this round, I'll be honest. But here's kind of a stone cold tip. It tastes horrible, so I wouldn't recommend it, but you can do it if you're feeling brave. You can crack an egg into a cup, stir it up, okay. put it in the microwave. Okay. Cook that bitch. Any microwave. Right? Cook it till it's cooked, ideally. <laughs> mm -hmm. Right? Oh. And then it'll be in the shape of like a little puck, and then you can put it in a, in a sandwich. What kind of sandwich? Like an egg sandwich. An egg sandwich. Okay, <laughs> egg that'd be, sandwich. that makes sense. Yeah. It's kind of like a McDonald's vibe. You know how they have the little round eggs in their oh, breakfast menu? That's how they menu? do it. They microwave it I in a little I think that cup. is how they do it. <laughs> hundreds of cups. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. Eggs in cups. Three to two, though. Brinker with his opening shot. Mac, what do you think about that? Oh, that's a pretty good shot. Pretty nice little shot. Yeah, one in the name, one in the round. One in the round. And it will be the third on the board for an IP. But try, I'll try some custom. Let's get, a, let's get it going. We've had the fun segment. <laughs> it was fun. It's not goofy hour yet. You said that's the third No, game, no, no, we it? have to wait. We need to uh, we dial can't down the goofiness. goof off because everyone is watching. And then theater hour, of course, is right at the end of the day. Yeah. So get ready for that. Oh, but dude, take a look at this round. This is a sick crossfire. These are kind of the two OG heroic gamers, Shush and Tessas. When you think of gamers, you think of these two in particular. Mm -hmm. And so they kind of worked in tandem there. And I know T Tessa has got all the glory. Yep. But that's that's the kind of guy that Shush is. He's five and one. He'll share. Humble king. Humble king. Short king, too, if you're five one. Oh, okay. I see what he's done yeah, there. That's a height. He's actually nailed that. It would be short if you were five one, objectively. I'd know. I'm not far off. Kicks in. <laughs> Trying to dominate mid here. Good damage under Alex. We'll force him further away. But they will re-aggress eventually here. Max, they're going to be the tip of the spear. Make a bit more noise at mid, but that bomb's making its way back towards B-Man. Tense yeah. round here. I don't know how they're going to win this. No, I'm going to be honest a, with when you. When there's a world, there's a way. You know that, Harry. If we were in this situation right now, playing a bit of face it, you wouldn't be saying, oh, there's no way we can win it. You'd be giving it a good go, right? I would. You'd give it a good go. I would, I would. It's fair, it's fair. And, you know, they could win. It's going to take Heroic, like, making a misstep or someone going huge. But they're going into a three-on-three -three over at the... Nah, it's, it's done. No, hold on. I think realistically Just this one Give it a chance to cook. Let that egg solidify. That's now Wrinkle. Oh, okay, maybe, maybe you're onto something. All right, fair enough. You're going to have there. You went and kind of sought two openers, different parts of the map. Lose them both. 3v5. One of your guys is really hurt and having to don the orb. It's not a it's not a winning recipe. Not like a microwave egg. Do you put any salt and pepper in this microwave egg, or is it just straight up just raw? Yeah, do you Ooh. scramble it or do you leave the, the yolk whole? You scramble it. Okay. You scramble it. Okay. What if I don't want yolks in my eggs? Let's remove it then, presumably. Take yeah. it out, take out the yolk. Okay. Kinda like a fortune cookie, but with eggs. That's the invention I'm pitching next. How do you stop that from being messy? Part of the fun, mate. That's true. Can't approach everything in life trying to make it nice and clean. Um. Sometimes you got to be down in the muck and the filth and the dirt, mm -hmm. Henry. Isn't that right? 
just right. like NIP might find themselves very, very quickly. If they don't turn this around soon, there's the link back here. Bear in mind, it is the most T-sided map in the world. So at this point, the fact the heroic 3-3, keep it in neck and neck. They're feeling comfortable, they're feeling good. And we've got a slower pace round here. One minute left on the clock, utility being deployed in towards that A side, but the bombs all the way back in T Sport. Mm. Yeah, Nip actually, the uh, Nip do this sometimes. The bomb will end up a little bit further away than maybe ideal. So it's a lengthy rotate from that bomb on the back of Isaac. Try and bring him around over towards the A side. Problem is, you kind of lost a lot of the. You lost the chance to put pace behind this round as a result of that, right? You've kind of had to respect the util. You're waiting now, you wait for the bomb to get here. All this lull in the action has meant that Heroic have kept this double stack. They don't hear anything Yo. anywhere else. And Shush Hello. lays waste to NIP in A main. I like that. And I don't think there's any way to win this round either. Beautiful spray transfer. Finishing what old mate started. One for three trade and locking in around for sure. Another Rez. question about the whole Saving. egg situation here from mm. chat. Yep. Does the same thing work with Kinder eggs? Will you get the same results? Would you have... A solid object that you could eat in a sandwich. No, you after. shouldn't microwave chocolate. I'm, oh, I'm down with uh, Blue Sky Bring Tears. He said Kinder eggs are shit. Yowies are where it's at. Yowies, Harry. What do you How think much about do you know about Yowies? For legal reasons, I'm not allowed to talk about the Yowies. Uh, of course. <laughs> <laughs> what is a Yowie yeah, like? What a rival? is a Yowie? It's an. It used to be like an Australian version Used of like a, a kinder egg yeah maybe they still exist but they would have um domestic animals like a kangaroo as the buildable toys inside the eggs koala and they'd be like Wallaby. little 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 uh, monster looking things snake yeah Tarantula, platypus, platypus, kookaburra. And the fact we all know what a kinder egg is, and you're saying used to be about the other ones, doesn't inspire confidence that it was the better product. It was. <laughs> Feels like it's been spoken about there in the past tense. It never made it to Europe. If it got to Europe, they would have understood. But what was the name of it again? Yowie. Yowies. See, in Europe, we probably would have called that like Yowies. 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 Google it. Yeah. Come on now. Y o w i e. Have a look. Goggle up. <laughs> shout, out, shout out, shout out, <laughs> Not a lot of love for the Yowies in the chat. Not a lot of love. There, Type those, those funny-looking kangaroo things. Bro, these are just a bunch of pictures of Bigfoot. Big, big <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Here we go. In towards Dark. Yowie's going to be looked up later. As you see, Nerds fending them off from Dark. He gets himself a double kill here. Roex starting to extend their lead on the CT side. Ooh. It's an absolute fortress here in B. Wrinkle can do nothing. These rounds have been very convincing. Bear in mind, elimination on the line here for these two teams. And it's not looking too good for NIP. They had a decent start, but now Wrinkle being removed by Dexter. It's clean. It's concise. And the money's in the bin now for the Ninjas. Oh, difficult to even get a partial buy out of this one. They run through the smoke. It costs them everything. Nerds, rock solid, <laughs> stepping up. Bro, one of those pictures of the Yowies looks like something out of Attack on Titan. What is this? It's like Bigfoot chocolate. Is that what it is? Yeah, yeah. Let's just go with that. It, it is those colorful looking marsupial uh, things. The, the rainbow one. Yeah, it's those. But let's just go with it is Bigfoot. Colorful Bigfoots. Wow. What are your thoughts on Bigfoot in general? Yay or nay? He would never fit in a pair of Levis. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't really, yeah, he doesn't need any sort of genage in his life, does he? He kind of is wearing clothes all the time. Rez in this game is kind of like the Bigfoot. Okay. <laughs> you've, heard, you've heard so much about him, but he's nowhere to be seen. 0 oh, and 6 right now for Rez. <laughs> oh, no. Come on, That's Rez. That's a nickname you Give want. Give us that Goatland MVP. Oh, he's dead. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, my God. It's another one of these spray downs from the main tag team of Shush and Kicksand. And even though that plant's coming through, the rest of Heroic are here to rob the round away from Nip. This is a very good-looking CT side that Heroic are putting forward. Yeah. Maxter, Glock in his pocket, and he's ready to rock it. Gonna find Dexter over here in middle. That's the orb retrieved. So he gets out with that at least. A little something extra for NIP. Mm. Okay, one final push here. 
for the first time ever, you will have the chance to speak to a winning team at ESL Pro League. We've given you the opportunity here, live in Malta, to send in your questions to one of these two teams. Right now, it is looking like Heroic will be said team you can ask questions to. If you'd like to get involved, I need you to send electronic mail. Yes, that's right, email. We need to send it into EPL Mailbag at EFG.GG and put the subject line question for winners. And if you send in a good question, there's a high likelihood that we'll read that out. So in a way, you'll be talking to the players directly. In another way, it'll be me reading out the questions that you send in and filtering out the weird ones. But still, if you'd like to get involved, we are looking through those right now. We've got someone in the green room filtering them out, trying to find the best of a bad bunch. Of course, of course. And if you forgot what that is, it's exclamation mail, and then you can copy and paste it so there you don't have to type it all in. I didn't know that was a feature. It is. I oh, had to use it early because I forgot what it was. Pretty good. Let's go then. Six to three, NIP struggling on this T-side campaign. It looks like we've called a B execution off the get-go. Maybe just a contact player that lurk smoke coming through. Ooh. Position, plenty in the clip for Tessus, but won't be able to rip it back in time. Degster, nice shot, cutting him off on the cross to site, but won't be able to go for the repeat here. Rez finally on the ball with his first kill. But is this going to equalize another round for Nip here? Rez falling, wrinkle, 1v2 angle. And if anyone can do it, it's probably this guy. Yeah, I'd say that's fair, Mac. He has been known oh, to win a clutch or two. Oh, 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 oh. He hit him. He hit him. 14 HP and a dream, and Nerds comes out on top. He's doing the victory lap on the server as well. He's oh spraying no. the body. Oh. He's deploying the util. If we could get a little bit of uh, the BM as a replay, I'd highly appreciate that. Oh, he's no scoping the course. Oh. oh, and that's not safe for TV. We can't put that on. We can't put that back on. No, we can't. We, can. we can't do that. We could call it beef cam. It's against TOS. Can we get a beef cam graphic whipped up Look in three this. seconds. Bro, I can't believe he did him like that. Here we go. Any more? Oh, Here it is. they got it. Ooh. Right in the cartilage. <laughs> <laughs> Throw back there to the previous map. Or was it the Wombat? They had the, the strong high Yeah, arrow? yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Got that. Were you guys talking about Wombats earlier? Yeah, we had a whole Benjamin Wombat segment. Cartilage. Yeah, they had yeah, crazy cartilage, cartilage. On, their, on their bums. And yes. it, yeah, you saw that? We saw that. We kind of delivered the news to the public about that. Hell yeah. yeah. Dangerous bombs. Caked up. Right yeah. now, talking to Wombats, it's heroic dancing to Joy Division as NIP finally pick up the opener here. Are they ready? Oh, I see you've done that as a Wombat song. Yeah, well, let's yeah, dance yeah, to yeah. Joy Division, Division and celebrate the irony. Everything is going wrong, but we're so happy. Oh. So how uh, is so happy? Yeah, it is. Oh, I don't wrong. know. Maybe I think I think you were right. I think you were right. I think we're both right in a way. Okay. Everyone wins. Here's Tessas. Shut down over towards the B site. NIP finally breaking through after a short little five round hiatus from finding rounds on the board. They're now shooting for five to close out this T half. Of course, it is Anubis favored towards those T sides. So Most they're, kind of map in the world. Hoping, they're kind of hoping that this can be a bit of a turnaround here. Headsets mm. off for Dexter. Is he good? Is he cool? Yeah, just the any -E readjustment. Okay. Just a quick one. Making sure he can hear everything. Would be good. Even with the amount of aircon you have here in Malta, it still could get a little sweaty under those cups. A whole ecosystem going on in there. Wombats and all. You guys kind of went viral yesterday, I noticed. Um, with yeah, so you're trying to get in on this. I'm trying to, yeah, I'm trying yeah, to have yeah. my segment there, my <laughs> little moment. Guys, I'm, I'm, Henry, I'm <laughs> singing. I'm, I'm singing as well. Um, I don't think that really <laughs> landed the same way. No, I think it did. I think. I did remember those lyrics after we just finished Joy Division. It, it's been a while since I've listened to that song. It's yeah, yeah. it's it's that's from when I was at university. So that's about what. 15 years old. Yeah. Now. Good yeah. song though, isn't it? Yeah, it's yeah. a good song. In, in, in the song. UK, they love whacking that because on. Because I'm so happy. There you go. Yeah, you That's have the to one. hear that. Hear that Benjamin type beat. <laughs> Benjamin Franklin in the chat Benjamin right now. Button, He's enjoying it. Yeah. Always getting younger. <laughs> <laughs> Shush. He's been a menace over here today, and it looks like he might get tested again. For what? 
Oh, I knew that was coming as soon as I said it. I thought like, and now I have to think of some sort of goat horror. syndrome. Goat <laughs> syndrome. There you go. Yeah. You that's something, right? Yeah. Oh, and he's passed that test. Right. Just check that goat syndrome's not like something. Oh yeah, terrible actually Google quickly. that. Bring yeah, that up. Just Sim get, have a little Google, Harry. get goat syndrome. Yep. Fainting goat syndrome. Okay, that's quite nice. That's, that's fair enough. I think that was a viral okay. video at one point as well. That was a viral hit about mm -hmm. ten years ago. Goats yep. was passing out. Yep. It's an old, old like bit of internet history there for freeze you. Freeze up. I remember that video. Yeah, the screaming goats as well, of course. Who could forget them? Almost as famous as the playing ducks. Wasn't that Taylor yes, Swift? Yes, yeah, true. Screaming goats. I thought that was 50. Oh, Tess says tagged in the molly. So now they know mm. that they've got someone around the dark area and they would have heard that on the nice. extremity. They try to pressure him, but they're not going to get past him. You can molly the guy. You can even shoot the guy, but you can't beat the guy right now. Heroic looking for eight rounds here. Wrinkle gets one off the backstab, but the remaining two for NIP left to trickle in through main. Ooh. And Tess says is ready for it. It's just Isaac and no respect today. 1v4, this one won't be coming through. Heroic, double up on the half. 8-4 in the lead on map number three.
gonna come. Okay, yeah, I also don't know. One more jail, it is Hunter. Hunter, Hunter. Jail alive. I still has. I'm coming, city guys. Two city, two city. Ten city. I need the smoke. Last open, last is open. Let's push him. Let's push him, let's jump. Jumping from the left. Left side. Left side. No! Nice, boys. Nice. Good shit. Good shit, boys. Heroic kick things up a gear as they assemble a kind of Transformers style squad and there's not even a Snaptimus Prime in sight today. They oh, don't need that wow. in this rematch bout. <laughs> so many layers to that one. There's layers to this onion. Wow, okay. Well, that set the tone. He set the bar very high now. And let's get into it, shall we? We're drawing the old classic. Five players through the B main entrance, and it's down heroic. You're going to be finding headshot after headshot here. Bomb planted, and Rez he had a pretty rough half, if you don't mind me saying, Harry. Two kills and nine deaths. Would need to do a lot here for some redemption. Can he do it, though? Is it possible? It's the big question. I think he's very much someone we should be keeping an eye on here, but first we have to see if Isaac... Oh, he demands the respect. He's seen a lot of bodies back here at main, oh. and now he's putting them in bags. It's just shush. Max still runs him down for an IP. Crowd goes wild. Huh? Viewing party over on the couches there, but that's going to be Nip taking a pistol, which is a great way for them to try and get some momentum here in the second half and final half of the series. So far, not too good for Nip, but Isaac Cracker of a little retake there. It's kind of cool. He went, he flanked through T-Spawn and recovered a Glock there because they bought a P250. So for those engagements, those duels, the Glock was the premium choice. Upgraded through their spawn and actually made mm -hmm. it work. You don't see that too often. A couple of extra bullets in the clip just to a spend Glock a little is more. unbelievably OP. Yeah. Just one of them things. In the pistol, at least. Dexter. Has a nice little uh, E-Box smoke lined up there. Good timing of the layer. He flashes an Alex wrinkle. Only going to be able to find a couple there, but the Force Fire is going well for Heroic so far. Red's going to be able to pinch off another, or at least get some damage out. He's dead. Nice nade. Ooh, beautiful bowling. Bit of spin on that one. Rez gets a second before falling, and now it's up to Nerdzy, as you call him here in Europe, uh, to 1v2. <laughs> nice. Bringing that back. Yeah. It, was a, it was a good part of the show. One of the highlights, for sure. Now, Nerds... <laughs> Z, what's he going to be able to do? Left up in the clutch, one from spawn side, but that smoke Give might him actually help him. That smoke, I think, has helped him here. Oh, Alex, the best guy in charge Nerds has ever had. He's teed him up to win this clutch. Oh, hang on. I'm just going to slide around a little bit here. Not on the bomb. Oh, oh God. Oh, dear. Oh, oh dear. Oh, oh. Oh, not a, a good big way to celebration lose there for Nerds. Oh, no. As that was oh. one of the 2v1s you've oh. ever seen. Oh, no. <laughs> like, that's the way you might crash out the tournament. Uh, Goes down like that. Respect for him to go over towards the bomb to go for the reload as well, just to really throw off with the sound cues, then pop back out of the smoke. Isaac had no idea what was going on. I think that as well, like he ran in there, if he got blocked, if he stopped running, he knows he's still on the bomb. If he was like actually had a bit of movement there, he could feel it was clear and didn't really have to commit any further. Got the reload in at that point, then heard the shots, and that's actually... Oh, everything about that was oh, horrible. Yeah, it, was, it, was, it, was difficult to, it was difficult to watch. Yeah, no one wanted to see that. And uh, unfortunately for Nip, that's worse than losing the pistol now. You get even less money. Yeah. And you're going to be forced buying in like... response. Oh, a jump though. Oh, so what have you jumped for? I'll get that opening. Good dink of oh, range. Shush. Quite low now, and Rez is going to be able to retrieve this Galil. It's got a lot of damage in it. If he can fall, oh, find a timing, doesn't keep going forward, but Heroic just going to regroup, make sure that they can potentially trade this one out. Tessus probably going to be going for a weapon switch with Shush in a moment. Maybe not. Holding on to the oh. Mac 10. Does the job anyway. But now they're both slowed over towards a main Max. They're going to be able Winnable. to take Nerzi's head off. Not a foregone conclusion that this one is over. That kill could have done it. Actually, it's takes like, it under six health. Dude, everyone is so horny to end this game. And it's like, come on, boys. Like, just a couple of clean rounds. But you don't need to go peek all the pistols. It's fine. 
Like, because now everyone's really hurt. And now, if, if, for example, Max still got a kill to, like, bring you back into the 2v3, now it's like, oh, shit. Maybe I, though, maybe I didn't need to go and... Oh, did they smoke man as well? Oh, they did get a smoke this down. Is, yeah. Oh, that's okay, actually kind of huge. You can spam this. Honestly, I think smoking the bomb here might have served you better if you're NIP. They're, they're being calm about it. There's no way you would actually go for a yeah, full defuse here, so I think it's all under control. Just hoping they die with the bomb. But still, yeah, okay, fine. Well handled. Heroic. They win the round, I guess. Double digits. <laughs> NIP. They do some damage. In a way, everyone wins. Yeah. Especially us, the spectators, the fans. 10 to 5, though, and do they save much? They got a, an AK out of there? Oh, you... I don't know why you jump. I guess it's, that's the definition there of a jump scare. You get scared, mm -hmm. and you jump. Yes. Happens to the best of us. Definitely what happened. I feel like that looked like a more of a mouse wheel situation. I'm not sure. A lot of the time, you'll, you'll find it's probably him just, like, pressing his comm button and fat fingering on the space bar. Depending on where his push to talk is. Or if he's even using that. Or if he's even using that. That's it. There's a lot of factors. A lot of There's a lot of factors. <laughs> <laughs> things out, of our, out of our hands, really. Out of our knowledge. Oh, oh Rez now. Insta rotate. Rez oh. goes unchecked. Oh. Okay. And not checking for Rez. Well, it proved to be a mistake, but only a brief one. Oh, that might be the round. All done and dusted, I'm afraid. Not really much they can do with this apart from save the AK-47. Quite a good gun to have on the CT side, but they are running out of a bit of time and space here on the NIP side of things. 4-1-3, not much to say about this round anymore. Unless you spotted something I've missed, boys. Well, look, Nip, Big detail here. if they can find a couple of AKs on the exit, which pr well, I was going to say won't happen, but Dexter's running at them. So there's a high chance that they'll find at least one more AK. Or even some extra damage, which can help them in the long term. Alex will be looked at. Nice shots. Destroyed. <laughs> How did you come on so strong with that? Just appreciating that as well. It was good. It was good. <laughs> I think this, you know, this is probably quite a. Drop the no kid, guys. They smoke the main. Then a default. I will play for uh, bomb. Yeah, I will, I will count six seconds. One, One, two, two three, 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 four, four five, 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 six. six. Yeah. Not defusing. Calm, like I told you, Harry. Yeah, that is good. They handled it well in the comps. They handled it well in the comps. What if they had well. a kit? I'm yeah, like, you just need, you know, they're, they're like all on pistols, man. You ain't. You gotta take some risks when you got 10 HP, the smoke's down, you gotta the, stay calm. The thing. But what if they had a kit? Well, they didn't, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> I think this must be a pretty therapeutic vibe for Heroic <laughs> right now. After. <laughs> some redemption, yeah? Yeah, after how this match went last time, knowing it kind of got the taken out of your hands, situation. the situation. Snap tap situation. <laughs> rearing its head there and taking the series away. To it's now good know it that, at the like, start of the tournament. Exactly. And now right? to know that, yeah, we would have won this out. That's a nice way to move forward. We just won't make that silly mistake. mistakes. Yeah, we've all made them. Some have cost more than others, I suppose. <laughs> and we'll get into what the could game. be the last couple of rounds here. Yeah. Water control for Heroic. No one playing for E-Box here for Nip. They are currently smoked off with the deeper version of that E-Box smoke. Or Dark or Con or... Let's open up that can of worms again. Bear in mind, last chance here to send heroic questions. We're doing the mailbag interview after this one. You know where to find it. Exclamation mark, mail, that's M-A-I-L. Into the chat and you'll get the address and you can ask heroic whatever you want about this game. Time is of the essence, though, as we're coming to the end of it. Opening kill for heroic, looking for series point, elimination point for NIP. They did manage to get one series win under their belt this tournament, but that was against Heroic, and there was a bit of controversy behind it. Everything else has been defeats all the way down to this lower, lower bracket. And for now, 45 seconds. Everything good over there? Yeah. Oh, it's going good, man. Yeah, uh, it's going great, actually. Dude, with Heroic, a man up here moving towards match and series point. I've just done all that. I know. I was about to bring us back okay, into the round, right, bro. Right. Come on. All right. So say Heroic teeing themselves up for this B play, and yeah. they're bringing back Nerds all the way over from his A-Lurk, and IP have tried to get ahead of this, taking a bit of a gamble here. At this point in the game, it's kind of all they're left with. Ooh. Good opener from Max. Now he is going to burn alive in the molly, but he gets out with a second before all is said and done. Ooh. Rez, however, cannot hold the line, 
And so it's all eyes on Wrinkle Denied to try and keep Nip there it in is. this. Oh. But the plant not denied. Just goes through for Shush. Wrinkle's opened up around the world and maybe to the save here. Mm. Which, you know... It's fair it, enough, isn't it? Yeah. Milliseconds in that almost managed to deny the plant, which could have been a difference maker, but... It's going to be the AWP that needs to be a difference maker in the next and final potential round of the series here. Nip having a rough one, but Heroic playing a classy game of Anubis. Nerds in particular, look at that, 20 and 6 so far. Wrinkle will be allowed to save the AWP. <laughs> okay. Okay. What did he say? Uh, he said fucking bots, man. Oh, he also, I swear he just, did he just say, where is Blue Phoenix? I swear he did. That's quite where cool. Where is Blue Phoenix? A throwback there. Well, that's true. It is, uh, is his Israeli homie. Yeah. So Blue Phoenix's time in the team. I'm sure he'll be back stronger, bouncing, rising from the ashes. Mm. Oh, nice. That He's was his whole Phoenix. thing. Yes, yeah. indeed. I like what you've done there. But yeah, no, it's... All right, you might have just saved this. That's broadcast. actually some like big, you know, a little that's story. Some, that, there's like a storyline in that shit talk. Yeah, yeah. kind of sick actually. Shit at nerds for the reminder. All right, Alex up close. They're gonna come through, and to their doom. Not a boom here for NIP. Or heroic rather. You have 50 50 yeah. chance, Harry. Yep. Good try. Hey, if I hadn't pointed out, none of you two were going to catch me. All right, I'm just holding myself. I'll catch you when you to fall. To a good standard here. Isaac, yeah. aggressive. All the way. Pushed in towards A main. It's kind of interesting here. But Heroic have got their eyes set. Never towards this B site right now. They're stacked up with all four. And IP respond to that with a heavy B side lean. Mm. One thing is for certain this push is coming. It's not a matter of if. It's a matter of when. Isaac has so much information over towards Rugs. I thought they'd even shift that fourth player across, but of course they're just worried about mid aggression. Not going to be a factor. Execute comes through with the final pieces of util from Heroic to Molly's about to be used. Right side going to be cleared out. And through the smoke, Red's going to be able to crack things open, making it a little bit more difficult for Heroic to end it here and now. 2v5 angle. 20 seconds. They have to commit to the site or go for a save. And Shush is going to be able to get this one down slightly in the open. Oh, barely, just barely. And Dexter not in the greatest position to deal with that. Flash, the shots, the spray. No good, but Shush, 20 points of health. Not going to be able to clutch it. Great plant. Great bit of damage to the CT economy, but the long game is what Nip are trying to play here. Well, we all know it. Round number 13 is the hardest round in the world to pick up. This one eludes them, the MP9s. Making things very complicated. It will be maxed up, mowing them down from dark. As we will see, Rez and Co. working in tandem here. Finding the kills through the smoke. Rez saves the day. But can they hold on? It's going to take six rounds in a row here to avoid elimination. No team worries. Nah, the vibes seem good. Oh, yeah. They seem immaculate. Mm. Six rounds in a row. But all to play for. Can be done. It is possible. They yeah. have got the weaponry. It's been achieved by a few teams over time. On the CT side of Anubis, not as common, but not impossible. And they have a, a good buy here to try and start this comeback train. Well, I mean, if they were saying goodbye here... Oh, I was going to do it as well. That would be the I end was of the line. Do it. I gave you the space. And you nailed it. Yeah. You nailed it. That's why you're the GOAT. <laughs> Goat syndrome, oh, look of course. At Rez. Contagious. Oh, not like this, Rez. That can't be the way it all comes crashing down. Well, that was some of that CT aggression we were talking about. Some oh, teams trying. Now they're trying to plug the holes. Oh. He's going to call me up. Oh, the God. Comes in. Oh, God. Cost. Okay, wrinkles at least. Fallacy. Wrinkle has kind of mitigated damage right now, but now he's trying the exact same thing. Now, it's only gone horribly for the first two. Maybe it goes better for Wrinkle. He gets away with a tag, and that's really all you could have asked for there. However, okay, Shush won't make the play. Instead, oh, it's over in mid where Kicksand springs the trap. That's the A site cracked wide open. I think they have info on both those CTs as well, so they're just able to waltz into the A site. 
Molly and CT making sure there's no fast rotation. Kickson ready for the smoke push, and this one is all bloody over. Referee's calling it already. Wrinkle is good, but I don't think he can pull this one off. And we say goodbye to NIP. Yeah, bit of a, a rough showing here in the rematch from the SnapTap gate. Heroic able to win it out the second time around. Uh, they lose that opening map in kind of a tight OT opener, and then they go on to win handedly across the remaining two maps. They're going to go on, continue.